what's going on boys and welcome back to the stream how is everyone doing today this one will not be made into a video this one is the video essentially today i'm going to be going into and playing the longest event in the crew 2 first person in chat was sana nico bellic edek tema durani Rick, Epic Saxophone Solos, Lexi, first person in Twitch chat, was new first time chatter, Armin, Arm, Arman, Get No Play, Noah, Damon, uh, Godzilla, BNC, oh, some Bavarian guy, MP4, how is everyone doing, did I say longest event in the crew 2, I meant crew 1 if I said crew 2, that's a rip, now, the thing is, I'm not sure which account I should do it on, because I have my new PC account, but then I have my account on PlayStation where I actually have progress. So I might go on, on that. <laughs> Joe187, welcome. How you doing? God, chat. I am... I don't know if I'm looking forward to this one. It's apparently torture. But uh, I guess we will... Uh, <laughs> I guess we will find out together, chat. Uh, end of an era, chat. There is exactly... There is exactly 18 hours and 49 minutes left till the crew one is shut down permanently. Now, you know what? I am. Mm, I'm gonna go on PC. I'm gonna go on PC. Unfortunately, PlayStation is a DDoS risk, and I don't wanna be DDoS in the middle of a four hour event, right? But uh, hear me out, chat. Maybe DDoS in the middle of a four-hour event wouldn't be pretty hype. Has anyone considered that? Because I'm having to consider that right now. Um, let's do this. There we go. Just got jump scared by a war of evolution. So it's more revolve at hard frontiers. Don't work. No, don't buy motor vest. Who's what? Is it worth buying motor vest now? I mean, yeah. yeah. It, uh, look, look. Yeah, sure. Right? You might as well. There's no point in buying it later, right? It's not like they're going to massively alter the game. You might as well get started now, so when there's a good update, you've actually got a bunch of stuff ready, right? I'm just saying. That is my take on whether you should buy Motorfest right now. There we go. Let me do that, just in case. Uh, going to first real car show tomorrow, which is held inside. No way. Good luck, man. What My first... I went to, like, a massive car meet a while ago. Way before 2023. It was, like, Santa Pod or something. Or Silverstone, actually. I went to Silverstone with, uh, Dylan. And then it was in 2023 that I properly went to car meets. And now I've got a bunch of footage of going to car meets. In fact, speaking of, before we hop into the game, I do have a bunch of pictures from a car meet. That I went to. Let me... This one? Dylan likes it. I don't know if I like it. But um, it's a picture of a rim in a pi in a reflection of a car. It's stylistic. I don't know. Dylan likes it. I don't like it. Josh didn't like it either. Uh, we got uh, two Audis. I don't know. Look, I just wanted a picture. I didn't, I didn't really care. I got some vertical ones of that. This thing. This guy's selling this car. He's selling this car for like 30 grand. And I was sat there and I was like, you know what? I might buy it. I might I might buy it. Because the thing is, I'm never getting insured on a car like this, right? But it doesn't matter if I can't drive. Like, it doesn't it doesn't matter if I can't drive because I would never get insured on this thing anyway. So I was like, 30 grand, you know what? I might buy it. I might have to buy this car. But uh, no, I, I didn't in the end. I, I I went against it, but pretty sick car, and it would have been a cool first car, I guess. <laughs> One that I can't even drive. Um, RX-7, meh. Uh, a nice little EV here. Uh, we got Mercedes, meh, meh. This thing was sick. This thing was so sick. Every time I look at this car, I'm like, oh, ho, 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 ho. look at it, chat. That thing is nutty. This car... Is the type of car that is the reason people play Need for Speed. Is this car right here. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, nah. <laughs> uh, 
this wing. We got a milk, uh, that thing. We got, I don't even know what that is the steering wheel of, honestly. The, we got a rim shot. We got whatever that is. Whatever that is. A blue 350. And obviously you got Dylan at it because it's a 350. Uh, we got just of Dylan and Dylan and Dylan and Josh. Uh, meh. Yeah, no, it's in. Uh, Dylan got in the shop. Uh, we got meh. Yeah, a lot of these aren't as hype as I thought they were. Oh, do I have a bunch of shots from the demolition derby? Oh yeah, I do. I've got demolition. I don't know. I had the demolition derby shots. No way. <laughs> if you don't know, I went to a demolition derby the other day. Uh, we talked about that on the podcast. It was very, very sick. Now that opal, though, you mean a you mean a voxel? You mean a vo you mean a voxel? I don't think you mean opal. You mean you mean a voxel? Or a uh, what is it? Buick? In some place, isn't it Buick? Aren't voxel, opal, and Buick the same thing? I think they are. Wait, Buick, voxel, opal. Yeah. Where are they Buick? Because I'm fairly certain they're Opal and... Where are they Opal? Where are they Opal and where are they Buick? Because obviously they're Vauxhall in the UK, but where the hell are they Buick? And where the hell are they Opal? Demolition Derby? It was it was sick. People correct me on the Demolition Derby, Demolition Derby. It's a lose-lose. Because -lose. sometimes I'll call it Demolition Derby and people go, It's Demolition Derby! And if I call it Demolition Derby, people will go, It's Demolition Derby! I don't know. At least they're Opal in Portugal. Oh, Opal might be like Europe, Australia. And then Buick, America, right? If you go to Discord DMs, I'll show you a car show that, uh... That you can just use... Of course, your profile picture of General Tiger. Oh, that looks like it's right out of Need for Speed. That that does look right out of Need for Speed. Because um, it's the it's a Quattro version of the Audi. Nice, the roof rack is a is a bit much. I'd prefer without the roof rack, but nice. I will say though. Eh, no, I don't know what I was gonna say. All things considered, I kind of prefer Oh yeah, I went to the British Motor Museum as well. That thing was here. Yeah. It was it was alright. It was alright. Hey Brickwatch, how are you today? Good, good. Brickwatch upload tomorrow, by the way. It's two days late, I know. Busy week, busy week. Modders have modded Forza Horizon and found out the new Mustang has the GTD body kit. Oh, that's going to be sick. Absolutely. Absolutely doing a video on that when that comes out. The GTD Mustang. That's going to be sweet. That's going to be sweet. I'm going to a car show Monday. Everyone's going to a goddamn car show. It's beautiful. Chat, have you seen uh, all the Spider-Man movies are releasing on Monday? Well, like every Monday in the next like little while. There, I think there's 600 cars or something there. I actually have no idea of the quantity of cars. I mean, apparently I'm going to a car show. I've got a birthday and a car show. Like, next week? Not this weekend, but next weekend, I've got a birthday and a car show. And then the weekend after that, apparently I'm also going to a different car show. Chant, my mates just go, hey, we're going to a car meet. And I'm like, yeah, all right. Could have told me, but no, yeah, sure. Sure, of course, we're going to a car meet, of course. Um... Okay, why is that not playing out of the right thing? LEGO 2K Drive has a big update, new Ice World with new events and maps. Um, I might check it out. I want to do a video that is like... Okay, I'm going to have to close the game because it's not coming out the right output. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? What do you, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? What do you- No. No. We still have a day. No. No. We still have a day. We still have one day left. We- We have one day left to get on the game. No. Chat, I'm checking PlayStation. I'm checking, I'm checking PlayStation. I'm gonna go check PlayStation. We still have a day left. Oh, you know what? I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. And hopefully, let, let, me, let me play something. Um, I don't know. 
I just play anything? Where's my Spotify? Okay, that is playing through my... Okay, well, I'm try I'll try and relaunch. And if not, I'm, uh... Go on PlayStation. Because the game should still work. And we're wasting time not being on it because it's a four-hour race. How are you doing today? Too much? Good, good. I, I might do some LEGO 2K Drive on Brickwatch. I want to do a main channel LEGO 2K Drive video, but then I might do one on Brickwatch soon. Because it's easy. It's, like, it's, it's just like LEGO Speed Champions, the racing game, right? And then maybe every now and then I can chuck out that in the in-betweens. Crew health, 10%. Was holding his. Uh, Hi Sid, do you know if the Crew 2 servers will be shut? They will ever be shut down? Yeah, probably in like four months, four four years or so. Four months, four years or so. Okay. 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 Uh, Sid, try the PlayStation version. I will. Thank goodness. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Thank God, chat. Okay, finally, now it's time. I shall turn off our music. And it's time we just derive, but chat. Oh, hello. The faction war has ended this month. Yeah, well, it's ended forever. Oh, God, that's rather sad. Oh, chat, this is the last time it ended. Oh, and obviously the wolves won everything because everyone goes wolves. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. Oh, and they won the West Coast as well. What a what a surprise. What a what a surprise. It would have been okay, look, I don't It would have needed a content creator to be like, everyone go bears for anyone who isn't the wolves to have won. So what are you gonna do? Alright, there you go. Where's Joshua? Where's Joshua? Joshua's here somewhere. I didn't see him. Chat, did anyone see Joshua? He had to have been there. Right. Now, where is the longest event in the game? So, it's in Factions. There we go. Let me put on some more chill music instead. Let's give a tryout to... Where's the one I'm looking for? There we go. Where is where is it? Las Vegas? It starts it. Oh god, wow. Okay, it was the first one I found. Right. More than one hour. What? Oh, it's in Rally Cross! I forgot it was in Rally Cross. Ew. Gross. <laughs> okay. Now. I guess it is time. My keyboard isn't connected. Hang on, let me get rid of the thing at the bottom. I guess it's time we... I, we just need to go into it. We just need to go into it. I was going to consider buying a new Rallycross car, but, like, it's just not worth it, right? It's just it's just not worth it. Let's do it, chat. Let's do it. Can't it be something more energetic? I mean, it's the last epic race. Hey, I mean, it'll 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 pick up. Honestly, too energetic music just gets, to, get, gets on my nerves after a while. That's why. <laughs> This is more chill. Here we go. Consider buying a new trim. I'm going to buy you a new yappa. All right? You hear me? Because that, cause that, cause that one you got on you right now clearly don't know what it's yapping. Okay. Straight away, we're way too far behind. I'm fairly certain we're under level for this. So it would really be unfortunate, chat, if we play a four-hour race and lose. <laughs> that would be incredibly, incredibly unfortunate. But oh, what the hell? What what hit me? Oh god! How much traffic? What am I playing? No hezzy? Jesus! Eight hour stream? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear God! In a oh in a rally cross dodge. I should have bought something new, but it's too late now. So apparently this race is supposed to take us through any and every landmark in the game. And I'm I'm it's really daunting already. The the trek that we have ahead of us right now. It's also really worrying 
that I am, like, very lost. Like, I'm not just lost. I am, like, incredibly lost. But what are you going to do, I guess? At least but Lo-Fi Simpsons and Run been driving me insane. I've been trying to get one of the other music things to work. That's why I've been using Simpsons and Run for so long. But there's this other music one that I just cannot get to work for some reason. Yeah, they've just like chucked me out my account. It's a rip. Too late, you're not even two minutes in. I mean, yeah, but like, I'm not exactly gonna grind a new, make the GTR rally. I'm not exactly gonna be able to grind a new thing, or grind a new uh, car up to any level. If I buy a new car, it's gonna come stock, right? So like, I'm screwed regardless, I assume. Yeah, I can either buy a new car and be stock, and then... You can't just play lo-fi on Spotify? Copyright. Ugh. This is all stuff I know is, is copyright free. I'll try and get the other... I'll try and get the other one to work. The other thing to work. At some point. It won't let me trigger YouTube safe, though, because it... It just... It, 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 it logged me out of my account... And it won't let me log back into my account. Oh, for God's sake. This is a bad start. Just do Las Vegas escape method to max it out. Is that a thing? Are we really... Chet, are we really gonna... <sighs> Chet, you're telling me I'm gonna buy a new car. And then I'm gonna go and max it out. In like... And how long is that gonna take, Chet? And, and how long is that gonna take? You know? How, how long are we gonna be sat here... Maxing a, maxing a car out. Where's Las Vegas Escape? It took me 170 minutes. I don't have 170 minutes. It's located in Chicago? I thought it was a Las Vegas Escape. No way, Sid Wires, go to the Jump Skill 1. Jump Skill 1? Which one of these is even skilled? Skilled, okay. Oh, but now they have to be called feats. Jump skill one. Just repeat it over and over. This sounds uneventful for a live stream, is what this sounds like. Like what, I'm supposed to do this? And then what? Can I do it both sides? Oh, I'm supposed to retry it. Right, okay. Uh, just do the jump skill in the military base runway. I mean, well, clearly, I, look, I've already... I've already... I've already... Uh, the GTR. Do you really want me to buy the Rallycross Skyline? How much is the Rallycross Skyline? It depends how much the Rallycross Skyline even is. Because couldn't I buy that at a pretty high level, now that I'm a pretty high level, actually? Yeah, because you can buy a car higher level, right? I mean, I don't know if it'll be higher level than I'm already, I already am, but let's do it. Let's try it. Yeah, I'm going to be here till like, <laughs> I'm going to be here till, till the game shuts down at this rate, chat. That's how long I'm going to be here, but let's do it. Uh, it's in here, right? Oh no, I have to go to the dirt dealership. I have to go to the dirt salesman, chat. Where is the man who sells dirt? It's Miami, no? Oh no, that's Puff. Is it New York? Why, why, who's selling rallycross cars in New York? Somewhere notably not off-road, frankly. Dirt Junior New York, thank you, thank you. Uh, buy it at level 40, it's 25k? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. Will that be higher than the one mine is right now? Surely that won't be higher than mine, currently. No, not you, not, not you, not you, not you. Damn it, I wish I could have afforded a rough, you know? I suppose this is the only dirt vehicle we got. There you go. And level 40. 684. That is pretty high, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sweet. Afternoon. Welcome, Delboy. How you doing, man? Beautiful. Lovely animation. Love to see it. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Now, can I, can I put the parts from, 
Wait, can I just buy my way to being maxed out? Is that a thing I can do? Wait, hang on. Can I can I just buy my way to being maxed out? Wait, why is that worse? In what world is that worse? Huh? I mean, this one improves it, so... Unlock cars using crates. I'm in too deep at the moment. Okay, that's making things worse. That's making things worse. That's worse. That's better. No, because you don't have max level parts. So is what I'm doing right now dumb? Or am I a genius? Now I'm 708 rated. I mean, come on now, chat. I'm 708 rated. That's almost the, the level that I need. Half genius, I guess. And you know what? That's the half that counts. I'm making this blue. What the fuck am I doing with a white skyline? Who the hell drives a white skyline? What are you talking about? In the real world, however, a white skyline would probably look rather clean. But, like, even in the real world... Well, it's just gonna get dirty, like, the moment you drive it. The moment you, you... You go forward one inch, and that's no longer a white skyline. They don't have blue on a skyline? SMH. Hang on, they actually don't have blue. Okay, there we go. No blue on a skyline. Disgusting behavior, chat. You can two-tone iridescence? Wait, can you? Matt, iridescent. Huh, nice. So what? I guess I just, like, I put on one and then it'll let me choose the other? It's like, you're telling me if I put on that. It didn't let me choose. Uh. Who cares? Who cares? You know, who cares? But I didn't even want to. I didn't even, I didn't even want to. <laughs> I'm absolutely putting flames on a skyline. <laughs> nice. I have a question for you. Sure, what's the question? Now this is a skyline. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm quick yet. Don't worry. Okay, where is back the, that jump? <sighs> is it actually better if I do this jump over and over again? Or at least like until I have... A decent amount. Are you going live on Brickwatch? Probably not, no. When I'm building Legos, I I'm normally just watching shows with my girlfriend at the time. And I'd rather do that than talk to a chat. No offense, chat. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, you can do customization to dirt cars. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Oh no, in Dirt, you can customize, um, you can customize Rallycross in Motorfest. That's a thing. Jump 1 is really fast. Hey, if they made this modern day, it would be patched. Honestly, yeah, if I, if I'm ever single, god forbid, or, um, you know, I got some, I got, like, a lot of time, maybe I'll start streaming on Brickwatch, but... There's no Anos? Oh, right, yeah, okay. I gotta pick up speed beforehand, right. Forgot about that. Oh, damn, wow, yeah, really? That skyline is really blue, right? Bluer than most, I dare say. Dabba dee dabba da. I'm talking about games, like, oh, yeah, oh, maybe, maybe if I'm, if, if I ever play LEGO Speed Champions, or, sorry, if I ever play LEGO 2K Drive on that channel, and it does really well, I might, on a day I'm not streaming, instead of uploading a video, um, stream, on a day I'm not streaming on the main channel, yeah. I might, because I mean, then again, Brickwatch videos are supposed to come out Fridays. I'm streaming on Fridays. Maybe over like the weekend. I don't know. Or on like a one, a one day, a Monday. Maybe on a Monday. Yeah, you know, do a do a 
Lego 2K Drive video on BrickWatch on the Friday and then do a BrickWatch stream on Lego 2K Drive on the uh, the other day. Avengers, man! Get him out of here! What's good, man? Uh, shite. Yeah, 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 whatever. The crew is being shut down today. Hundreds of thousands of gamers robbed of millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. What's my opinion on what I've seen so far of Test Drive? I just, I want them to go away and make a great game. That's all I want. I want them to go away, make a great game, and then mark it once that game is done. That's my take on it. I think I really am looking forward to it. I like driving around. Genuinely, if I wasn't a content creator chat, all I would do in racing games is drive around. I'm being dead serious. I love getting immersed in a playlist. I love playing on wheel and getting immersed in the playlist. I didn't even mind actually playing the um, main stage legacies because of that, because I got on wheel and just sat there and got myself immersed in it. I was like, yeah, I'm playing just an American car thing right now. And I liked it. The flat rocks. You know what? I got a lot of shtick for those flat rocks, all right? I got a lot of shtick for those flat rocks because people are like, oh, all racing games have them. Forza and the crew, I have not found a flat rock that is the same type as the flat rock in Test Ride yet. The rain weather in the game was uh, peak. They should have kept the same in TC2. I mean, weather in general, right? The crew two, the crew one had um, location-based snow, but the the crew two didn't in the end. The crew two had everywhere snow. You haven't finished the DLC yet? I, I did do the calling all units. I haven't finished Wild Run. I guess I'll do that tomorrow. I'll probably go live tomorrow the moment I'm awake. Like, I'll wake up, I'll go live. One, the major thing that's upset me about TDU is the always online because I was looking forward to modding the game. Not a criticism of them, I guess. I don't know. People don't like always online, for one. But, um... I just think that it... it sh I would have preferred if it wasn't. And I think that's valid. This is actually a nuts way of maxing your car out. Like, what? Because you, But the reason about Always Online, the, the reason I'm so upset about it is because the game looks amazing for just driving around. The indicators thing, the map being a one-to-one, -one, the map being a one-to-one -one alone sells me on it. Uh, and having, like, sim-ish driving uh, physics, right? What the fuck is it doing? I'm grinding parts... Oh, by the way, uh, Mazda asked tea or coffee? Definitely coffee. Who would drink tea? Drinking tea is is, is inefficient. Coffee has some efficiency. Without, without watching CAU vids on... Uh, what is CAU? Oh, calling the units. Uh, I didn't know which event was first to start with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if, uh, I, I'm grinding parts so I can play the longest event in the game. If you have the same amount of money in your bank account as your mom's phone number, which how much money would you have? Okay, yeah, whatever. But yeah, I wanted to mod the game. Because of how amazing it looks to drive around, I wanted to be able to mod the game. I wanted to be able to put a graphics mod over it. Put like a, one of those um, cartoonishly high graphic GTA type rain mods or whatever, right? Put cars that they can't get. Put licenses that they can't get in the game. I wanted to do that, but you can't because the game is always online. Chat, what's max level, by the way? Because I'm already high enough level for the thing we need to do, so I might solve this off. I wonder why Gran Turismo is only modern game with K-Cars. Uh, hype, I guess, right? Gran Turismo can add them. I mean, no, Forza, Forza has some tiny cars, does it not? I really hope they purely focus on the lifestyle elements. Uh, otherwise, it's, well, they're not doing houses on launch, aren't they? I swear they're, I swear they're doing 1,497 is max. Okay, yeah, chat, we're done. Yeah, they're not doing, um, they're not doing houses, right? That's pretty stinky. Like no houses on launch. Ew. 
Alright, faction PvP. Here we go, chat. The landmark tour. Now, to finally begin the four-hour event in this game. Perhaps we can see them in TDU. I don't know. Do I have water bottle full? I do. But you have to be level 60? Okay, yeah. Fair. Here we go, chat. The longest event in the game. Four hours. A four-hour tour of the whole map. I swear this drive is over that we need something. Tomorrow will hopefully be uh, different music. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll get it to work. The four-hour race is underway. It's underway. This is, this is the four-hour race. Already, we're barely competitive. We are the highest rating, yet we're still getting gapped by a Camaro. All right. This is shameful. Cruise doing houses for the Horizon has less houses than four. Um, TDU isn't doing them. They're not doing them at launch. This race is four hours, no way. Hey, you know what? St stick around four hours and you'll see. <laughs> Coincidentally, give me four hours of watch time and you'll see. <laughs> you know what I'm planning, chat? I'm deadly serious planning. Um, going Forza main for the Forsberg month. It's five weeks long. Who cares? I'll, I'll do the new cars, and I'll do the, the relevant stuff, and I'll do the um, new shop additions and stuff, but I will probably go Forza main for the Forceberg update, the Forceberg month. It's five weeks long. It's the longest of all of them. Focused on one guy, right? If they add a new playlist, great. If they add Stellantis Italy back, that'll probably have me back for like one week. And then I'm probably going to go Forza, Forza main. Not Forza only, Forza main. Because there's no other way I'm getting a Forza audience. At the moment, a Forza audience, why would they subscribe if they're seeing, oh, this Forza video I just did? It's one of... It's the, it's the first one I've done in five months, right? Like, there's no reason for a Forza audience to care about my channel at all. And then hopefully, I can have a decent split after that. Forza and crew audience balanced. One thing I am worried about is that, like, I'm creeping in on 100,000. And if Forza audience, if I don't catch the Forza audience, crew audience starts leaving, we're going to be in sub-decline. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. I don't know. This was a thing. That's really impressive. What, the four-hour race? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it shrank every game. The crew motor fest is 17 minutes. The crew twos is uh, uh, half an hour. And then this one is four hours. Do Forza Motorsports video? I don't even own that game. I could. But, like, isn't general consensus on that game pretty bad? All the way to 100k, then give up. I did say, uh, can't wait to hit a 100k so that uh, I can end this social experiment. I also said face reveal at 100k, which I thought was very funny. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that one was very funny. <laughs> it's on Game Pass? Oh, is it? Maybe I will, maybe I will. I mean, sure, right? If I'm going to be doing Forza Horizon videos, might as well do Forza Motorsport videos. Because I need to know what goes on in that game, right? It's a... Uh, I'm essentially doing what Ivory Tower does with Demo Royale, right? No one watches, so I don't do videos. But no one... But I don't do videos, so no one watches. So I need to be the one to step in there. Just like Ivory Tower... No one plays Demo Royale, so could, so they don't update. But they don't update, so no one plays Demo Royale. They have to step in. Also, chat, you're going to have to tell me which landmarks we're actually getting to, right? I'm not an America, so... Who even knows what places I'm driving past? I knew that was going to happen. Isn't respawning, like, bugged on these kind of events? I remember doing a four-hour-plus event when I was a kid, and the respawning was completely broken. And I actually got really, really upset. Like, I got, like, crying upset. Because I would spin out, respawn, and be sent, like, miles back. You could have made a shortcut just, like, in TC2. I mean, I, I, won't, I won't know any shortcuts in this race. I mean, I guess I'm in a rallycross car, right? So I can do this. But, no, that did actually help. Today I saw your channel for the first time while trying to find a farming guide for the crew too. Thanks for the guide. No worries, man. Welcome. Hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's still demand for the crew two guides, right? Because now that the game is not getting any more updates, after the Jaguars, done. The game is set in stone. 
right? That's it for the crew too. There's nothing else. So I might do some final crew two guides, right? Like the final best in every spec. The one video I kind of want to do is the last in every spec, right? I think that's a fun video. The last vehicle added in every spec. Would that not be an interesting video? I feel like it would. Because it would be interesting because it's like, you know, you have like Street, which will be the 350Z, and then you'll have Jet Sprint, which is two years ago with the Proto Rocket, right? I feel like that'd be a bit of fun. Um, Jaguar was added pretty soon as well. Uh, it was a bit broken, yeah. Do shortcuts or it'll be five hours? Look, I don't know the shortcuts. You're going to have to warn me for the shortcuts. I'll do a public face reveal at 100k. No, at, at me hitting 100k? You should do. Do those elimination car meets in the crew too? <sighs> do you guys... How many of you guys even know what elimination car meet is? Because that shit was fun. I might have to do that in Forza. That could be good. Oh, that could be so good. An elimination car meet in Forza? I might. Cause those were fun, and my one of my one of those videos did really well. Hosting like a thing like that, I love it. I love it. I've hosted a drift tournament before. I've hosted an elimination car meet, uh, a bunch of them. I, I enjoy hosting some stuff, yeah. I've I, honestly, they gotta put me in. If I wasn't a YouTuber and I got like an agent, I'd get. Oh no, if I if I was a YouTuber but also had an agent, I'd try and get me into some announcing things, right? I remember killing it in the uh, drift tournament. Chat, I was I was all over the gap. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Chat, is this valid? Is this valid, chat? Is this good? Is this valid? Or am I getting slowed down too much? Chat, I'm going like two miles an hour. I know him. I know him. I liked him. Yeah, do them in TCM. TCM map too small. I can't get eight people in a lobby in TCM. Alex Taylor and Krumo first one. <laughs> Your car isn't a raid? Yeah, yeah, but like, you know, the road looked pretty far away, okay? The road that it was trying to take me on looked pretty far away. <laughs> New York type shit? Absolutely. Do you know what would be fun as an April Fool's Day joke? TC1 offline patch? I feel like that would be too brutal. That would be, that would be too, too brutal. Absolutely too, uh, mean. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I couldn't, I couldn't. Not, I feel like I would get the most backlash imaginable doing that. I still actually don't know what I'm doing for April Fool's, genuinely. When even is it? One day or two days? Is it two days away? Oh, shit, that means I got a free, uh, free day. Nice, I get to shuffle my schedule over. Lovely. Two days? Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it was two or three days. Because if it was three days, then I'd have to have a video ready for Monday. Um, but if it's if it's two days, then I can just do shit out like the easiest video imaginable. And then, yeah. RS6 for April Fool's. Oh, you asked tea or coffee again? I, I, coffee. Hot Pursuit Remastered? Like the game. I, I do really like the game. Hot Pursuit. Uh, I loved Hot Pursuit as a kid, and then I loved playing Hot Pursuit Remastered. Is this tour that starts in Vegas? Yes. I remade the prologue uh, cameo in TC2. Perhaps Ivory Tower should also a playlist for a store, for a place event or store thingy. I can't that they, they have checkpoints because I was too tired. I just noticed 116 checkpoints? God damn. Chat, we're in for a ride. We're in for a ride. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have arthritis after this. Ends in Vegas as well. What starts in Vegas ends in Vegas, I guess. What if TC1 is shut down April Fool's, then it stays online? You know what, chat? I made a real... So I was... I made a crew parody account. I accidentally got it banned because I, I set the age too young for it. And then the account got auto-banned. Um, 
But I made a crew parody account not too long ago. And um, one of the best things that I ever put on that account, let me show you. Because I'm so proud of this one still. Do I have a screenshot of it actually? Let me see if I've got a, uh, let me see if I've got a, a screenshot of this. Because it was so funny. And I felt so evil, but I got, I think, a bunch of people with it. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I, I... I'm gonna have to scroll a bunch, but let me see if I have a screenshot saved. I'm so upset that I, I got it banned by mistake. I would have still been going to this day, chat. I would have. I would have. Can I find the original tweet, please? Ah, I'm not gonna find it. I'm not gonna find it. Well, this was the image that I made. And the caption was like, We've heard you. Uh, we, we've heard you, gearheads. Um, <laughs> it was like, gearheads, we've, we've heard you. So now announcing our new subscription service. And it was this. And I'm so proud of this. Look how convincing this is. Um, so it's got for only $14.99. And it was, um, it was one free car every update. Or like one free car every month. And it was uh, a certain amount of crew credits every month. And it was exclusive access to the Crew 1 servers. I was... Uh, I was so, so proud of that one, chat. And I'm so annoyed I got that... Um, Account banned by mistake, because look how legit this looks. Damn it, man. I spent so long on this. Uh, is expensive for this? Exactly, that was the point. It was a crew parody account. So it was just to get people to believe that this was a real thing. Um, it was to trick people into thinking it was real, yeah. So I made this, and it, ah, uh, I'm so annoyed. It was, ah, uh, I'm so proud of this, though. It's so legit looking. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Um, it, it, the at as well, it was like, it was the crew came. Because obviously, C looks closest to G. So it was, the, yeah, at the crew came. <laughs> then the, just the crew came was a funny at, at to begin with. Um, oh, but I was so happy with that. I even got Black Panther with it. I got Black Panther with it too. He replied before I've now said that it was me. Um, he replied to it. He was like, um... Almost had me there, something like that. Uh, make it only a dollar. Hey, it, it had to be. It had to spur some outrage. Do you think that the crew mo that Motorfest sucks like Dyson vacuums? It's pretty good in a lot of aspects, and it's pretty bad in a lot of aspects. Chat Motorfest out of ten. Okay, there must be a, sh a shortcut at some point here. Because, I don't know, I... What I say at the moment is, like, the Crew 2, after five years of updates, is a... £40 worth game. And I'd say Motorfest at the moment is kind of like a £30, £35 worth game. 7 out of 10. 8.5. But Forza Motorsport is an 8. Oh, okay. Alright, IGN. Solid 8. I could, I could give it an 8. I'm fairly certain I remember giving it an 8 at launch. Josh was like a tentative 7, 6.5. I was like a 7.5, 8, something like that. Or at least from my memory, at least. I might be wrong there. Eight is reasonable? Yeah, yeah. I will say, though, the, the eight, those, those two that it's missing is a pretty hefty two, all right? It's a weighty two that it's missing. An entire one of those twos is, uh, is, is Demo Royale. Uh, seven out of eight is reasonable. Six out of five is dumb. Oh, seven or eight is reasonable. Six or five is dumb. I wouldn't say five. I will say it's unfortunate how much the game gets discredited, right? Because... I will still stand by it. The game is not like 60 pound DLC, 60 pound DLC. Calling it a DLC negates like 
so many of the improvements the game made, right? The physics, the lighting, the graphics, the map detail, right? The, 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 the that kind of stuff. The gameplay overhaul, the progression overhaul. For better or for worse, it's definitely a different game. I'd say the Crew 2 was closer to the Crew 1 than Motorfest was to the Crew 2, if that makes any sense. God damn, chat, this thing's got some grip. Still didn't fix the skyline and Sagres, though. Yeah. Oh, is Sagris also supposed to be a uh, right hand drive car? You know what? I need to make more you and Thaya Karen style video. Where I'm like, 10 mistakes Motorfest has made. Five inaccuracies in Motorfest. Seven worst uh, car models in Motorfest. Like, I need to do that. I'm not making fun of him there, by the way. Ewan's a good mate. Um, but I need to make more videos like that, honestly. TCM is a 1 out of 10. Ooh. It was planned DLC. It was DLC at first, and then was completely uh, overhauled, right? Like, something can start out as... Oh, no, what, what was it? One of the Saints Row games. One of the Saints Row games started out as a DLC, but then was a completely separate game, right? Like, it's just a thing that can happen. It, it's nothing towards um, it being a 60-pound DLC. Something funny would be car models in TCM that are worse than old Forza models. Eh, maybe. TCM is a zero out of... A hundred thousand? Yikes. No, I'd say the game is solid. I want to restart it. I want to start playing it again. Like, um... From scratch. And, like, stick at it. That's what I want to do. And I'm going to do that one year in. When we hit September, chat... Like, middle of August? Make sure you're reminding me, chat. Restarting the game soon. Yeah, I restarted Motorfest one year later, something like that. In before certain content creators joined my idea. Starting as a DLC is a big Ubisoft theme. This year, TCM, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Skull and Bones, etc. Huh, interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know either of those uh, games was also like that. Huh. Demo is dead. I tried playing it. Uh and waited like 10 minutes for a game yeah yeah and ivory tower just refuses to ever care about it i'm telling you right now chat i will be the one to bring demo back to life and it will happen chat maybe not maybe soon maybe later but it will happen where's it respawning me oh for god's sake for god's sake oh no way that balloon's in the crew too uh! Okay, good. Is there any way I can avoid that? Hey, chat, I'm a minute ahead. Mirage was before a planned DLC for Valhalla. Oh, huh, interesting. Nice. Yeah, and again, is Mirage any less of a game because of it? I wouldn't say so. But then again, I've never played it. Okay, I'm chatting, my, I'm chatting out of my arse. Man said loves trees. Chat, there's a, uh, there's a thing you can use, right? My TV has... This is completely out of left field, chat. My TV has a search where I can search any movie and it'll tell me where I can now go watch it, right? Like, I'll search a movie on my TV and it'll say, oh, you want to watch this? It's on this service or you can buy it here. I need that, but for video games, right? Like, I want to search Assassin's Creed Origins and then see where else I can play it. Because that game has not worked for me in the last... I don't even know how long. I paid full price for that game, and it has not launched in the last four years. Not even the first time I've been scammed out of a game by Ubisoft. Oh, I didn't make a protein shake. Damn it. I was supposed to have a protein shake today. Uh, chat, I might dip out at some point and make a protein shake. I mean, I kind of can decide whenever I go do that, but I need to go do that at some point. Plus, I'll also just be starving by the end of this stream if I don't. I've been getting a bit too tubby, chat. I need to I need to cut down. I need to cut down. Went nuts on abs today. I went way too heavy. 
I feel guilty doing abs because I feel like I feel like I look like one of those people who doesn't know about how you can't spot reduce fat, right? If you don't know, you can never if you sit there and do do bicep curls all day, you're not gonna lose fat in your arm. You're gonna lose fat in your whole body. Fat is lost from everywhere. And because of that, you know, you can't lose belly fat by doing crunches or any ab workout. You have to lose fat in total, right? Uh, are we at New York or somewhere? No, we're in uh, Latrosse Car Part 1, I think. But yeah, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, uh, I, I feel like I look like one of those people doing that. But it's more just like when I do cut down, I want my abs to be there. Uh, one, um... I forget his name. Really good gym content creator on uh, TikTok. He mentioned it's like a lot of people think they've got, they think they've gained abs when they lose fat. But no, what they've really done is just they've had abs the entire time. It's just they lost fat, so now they're more defined. Abs don't protrude the way biceps do or anything like that. Don't take advice of this guy. Uh, kid has. <laughs> hottest of bellies. <laughs> Honestly, I do right now. I absolutely do. I got a belly of bellies. Identify places by their name. Identify places by their crew two race. I genuinely do. Like it's it's it's. God, I miss being that with the crew two. I feel like I'm just not that with Motorfest yet. Motorfest, I just kind of don't care. I need to play through all the playlists again. That's what I need to do. Like in my own time, or maybe on stream. Do a few more streams where I'm not recording a video, right? Because I feel like that's been maybe a detriment to streams. Maybe just do some streams where I'm playing some playlists and playing some PvP, right? Customizing cars, playing PvP, um, and doing some playlists all the way through again. Like, I need to, I need to convince myself there's reason to replay the playlist, because there really isn't. So I need to see how that would go. Murfest has no story races? Well, there's, it's because there's mini stories in Murfest, right? The, the, the playlists are their own little mini ones. You mean do a stream while you're streaming? Well, I mean, no. I, I mean do a specific thing while I'm streaming. Just because I'm, I'm recording on stream doesn't mean I'm not streaming. What are you talking about? It's literally called recording on stream. What are you, what, what are you talking about? Okay. Yapping is what you're doing. How is Chair Wadge doing? You might see him while I go make my protein shake. Motorfest has no story? No, no, no. I, I know it doesn't. It has no overarching story, sure. But it's also not trying to? I guess? Mr. Big Tits Wadge? Honestly? Actively just not the case. Like, if anything, it's just it's just the stomach. The, the, the pecs, so to speak. Uh, absolutely fine. AC Origins is a fun game. You're missing out, bro. I played it. I played it when it first came out. But it just doesn't launch now. It does my head in. It's really annoying. Because I want to play it. This event is supposed to go through all of the iconic landmarks, right? Or the landmarks in-game. Surely it'd be better if this event had actual checkpoints on every landmark. Because clearly the checkpoints aren't actually on every landmark. They're like every few. Uh, screw Ubisoft for uh, killing... The I don't know why I'm censoring fuck. Alright. You know, I've been a bit more conscious of that, right? Because my audience... <laughs> this is about to be a big shock chat. Uh, some of them are younger. Um, and, you know... It's not like... I'm not going to be a dumbass here and act like... Oh yeah, they don't know what that word means. And they don't want to hear that word. But if, you know, maybe maybe if I'm saying it too loud, then they're going to have to be like, oh, well, I can't watch his videos because he screams too loud and Mama and Papa are going to hear if I do. Um, well, you know what? Screw it. Fuck Ubisoft for killing that game uh, when the franchise turns to shit. Yeah. The sandwich, the sandwich invasion, uh, invasion begin. No. I did my first GTA... Uh, Glad to hear it. Uh, if you have PS Plus Extra, you can download and pay. Can you? Oh, PS Plus Extra. Chat, I'm collecting so many goddamn subscriptions. I, I'm being dead serious right now. It's probably like 200 in subscriptions at this point. No, it isn't. No, it's probably like 150. 
Like, we're talking Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Spotify, uh, two charity-related subscriptions. I guess those ones that I would obviously keep. Um, YouTube Premium, Surfshark. Actually, no, Surfshark. No, Surfshark, I don't. Uh, PlayStation Plus. Do I have Xbox Live Gold? I hope not. But I'm being dead serious. There's so much in subscriptions. What other subscriptions? Discord. Discord subscription. Uh, I think it's paid in bulk, but Premiere Pro. Where is it telling me to? Oh, that's a road. Sure. Like, I'm paying so goddamn much in subscriptions. This is a cool road. It looks, um... Can I say Mexican? I don't know. It's a cool road. Uh, you have Spotify Premium. Well, for myself, because I listen to Spotify, like, a lot. I listen to podcasts. I listen to uh, music. I make playlists. Uh, plus, I, I don't just pay for myself. I pay for uh, me and an old childhood mate of mine. At least Murfest is not a quadruple A game. What game has claimed to be a quadruple A game? Do you just download an APK file? Convenience. I don't know. Well, also, I pay for my good close friend. And, you know, it's a, it's a we stay in touch, so it's a nice way to be like, Oh, hey, you still Spotify all good? Oh, great. And then, you know, we'll, we'll plan to meet up or something. Because she goes uni, I am nowhere near where her uni is. So we barely meet up. We used to live in the same, like, middle of nowhere village, so... It's a good way to stay in touch, you know? Your mother. There we go. That's right, chat. I stay in touch with your mother. You hear that, chat? Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to you. Sandwich? Sandwich? No. Spotify... Chat, there's no Riz involved. She is a, a very good childhood mate. You know what all you need to learn? Is that women make amazing friends and that you should value having women as friends and immediately seeing a woman as, as, as someone you could get with is, is absolutely not the way to go about it. Uh, yeah, 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 see that's your grandmother wants that skill as you go. Women exist? I don't... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, un it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that, like, um... Because the wild thing is, chat, the friend zone doesn't really exist if you just value having women as friends, right? I mean, growing up, I, I catch up with them sparingly now. I've got one close, um... Uh, female friend, I guess, two? Uh, but then ones who I catch up from, from school, and it's only been about, like, a year or two since we were, like, way more consistent. I've just been really busy. But, like... One, uh, one who sat next to me in business. We also had terrible sleep cycles, so throughout school we would just chill and Snapchat like all throughout the night, just friends. Um, one really close childhood friend, genuinely like family. Uh, one who was in my music class, and we both sort of flunked out of it, and we went from official music to B Tech music, which is like instead of playing an instrument, she played saxophone, I played piano. To, uh, to just, like, making a beat. And we both kind of just sort of didn't bother. Um, and then one who I used to play Fortnite with a lot. And we didn't know each other in school at all. But we used to play Fortnite a bunch after school. And then we would just send, like, long voice notes chilling and talking. But, you know, it, it, again, some of the best advice I have ever gotten was from them. All of them. We need a biography of Sid's life. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, it's like a, it's like a streamer and a, a, uh, a good friend of mine fights in Muay Thai. Uh, so respectable and impressive. Uh, what race game do you think is overrated? Ooh. I don't know. Every racing game gets so much hate in current day. So none of them. 
<laughs> I'd say all of them are like pretty uh, uh, underrated. Sid Watch playlist needed, for real. Hey, Chess, not on me. It's on Ivory Tower. Uh, Sid Watch lore? Absolutely. Muay Thai is more far, more enjoyable than Karate. Yeah, she was like a she was like a three time um, like international champion for Muay Thai when she was younger. Nuts. Nah, bro, you definitely <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chat, do not tell a film or TV writer that I have female friends who I'm just platonic friends with. I don't think they can comprehend that, chat. You can increase brightness in the settings of the menu if it's too dark. Eh, it's fine. People like the nighttime of this game, right? Hell, new karate is better. They updated karate. They dropped a new... You're telling me they got a, a new karate? They've got a karate too? They, does it have a karate pass? Does, you're telling me they made... New karate... Chet, this is the first I'm hearing of this. Chet, they made a new karate? Got an update? Oh, you said nah. Okay. I was gonna say. See, that was my dyslexia. But now I'm just like, they really should. They really should add a new karate now that I think about it. <laughs> now, now I'm just like, where is karate to, Chet? What happens with that one? Did they add, like, power-ups? Right? <laughs> What does Karate 2 play like? Does, did they add microtransactions to Karate 2 chat? I bet they did. Right hook? You want a right hook chat? <laughs> you can still right hook, but if you want a right hook, but it has like a pink sparkly explosion when you do it, that one's gonna cost you microtransaction. What are you doing if your girlfriend finds out? Oh god. If your girlfriend find out, finds out that you. you, you Technically, Sid is already in TCM because of Black Panther. I am technically canon, but it's not one I would take in confidence. By the way, Black Panther's law in this game is nuts because he's in a um, he's a police officer in one of the events in Calling All Units. So, Black Panther in the Crew world is an ex-police officer and YouTuber. <laughs> who uploaded a, a racing video in the Crew 2 cinematic trailer and is now just a regular YouTuber again and is now in-game. Black Panther in a DLC mission? Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know and I can't play that mission. What is he in that mission? Is he... What or how is he? He has a livery? Oh, yeah, yeah, true. He was also an ex-race driver. As he has a livery in the game, too. <laughs> He's an ex-police officer, ex-racer. Oh, is he not a, uh, is he not a police officer? Is he a criminal in the event? Black Panther's an ex-con? Damn. Every time Panther streams, I'm going there and going, oh, look, it's Sid's friend. Why, why, why? I mean, no, you won't, but, like, why would you even? Why would you put that in people's... Why, why would you put that idea in people's heads? Honestly, Jet, I will say, most of you are fine, right? Most of you are fine when I say this, right? Viewers are what make content creators look worse than any bad PR could ever. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. That was hyperbole. Just viewers are pretty talented at making a, a content creator look bad. Technically, Sid isn't in TCM. Because Theo in game uh, is in game as Black Panther, not Theo. I mean, sure, he's never. Is he ever explicitly said as Theo? I suppose he isn't. Hot take, Wadge. I'm chucking it out there. Viewers are pretty good at making streamers look bad. He said Wibbly and became Canon Manifest. There. Oh, where are we driving past? Oh, so you know what? I'm kind of glad they made this a dirt vehicle race. Now that I'm, I'm really used. Okay, what? What is the point of this camera angle? Truly, what is the point?
You having fun? Uh, uh. Drift? I don't know. I'd rather skip. Sidway viewers, dream viewers. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. Oh, it's a drift camera? Oh, I guess, right? I guess it's like a... Eh. Still pretty stinky. <laughs> no way, chat. Should I buy a see-through chair, chat? See-through chair with ass cam, chat? Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what I don't see enough of, chat, on Twitch? Is guys doing the exact same thing that, um... Any of the popular... Obviously, now they've banned it. But, like, guys doing any of the things that those popular female streamers were doing. Um, like, also just wearing the skinniest of skinny bikinis and, and, and having, like, the... The camera underneath a see-through chair and stuff like that. Not enough of them do that. Do the green screen underwear. But isn't that just funny well no i mean what i the way i mean that chat is that it would point out a double standard is why <laughs> the reason i'm saying that is because like if they got banned then it would be really funny to see that double standard that's why i <laughs> that's why i god say screw screw all of you screw all of you chat have you seen the videos where was Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I remember that. He's got eBay ad. If John Cena walks on stage naked, then dudes can stream naked too. There you go. Uh, is this a humiliation ritual? Um, uh, was that a humiliation ritual? Is this the Illuminati? Someone being comfortable with themselves and just having a laugh? Is this the Illuminati humiliation ritual? I'm really self-conscious about how I'm perceived. So this must be an Illuminati uh, humiliation ritual. Because I would never do this. Oh, ah. 2F2F uh, recreating video. I did the first Fast and Furious and then just like never did another one. You are right. I should do another one probably. I probably will do them in Forza. I'll do them in Forza. Wet on that Forza month. Since your face is clickbait thumbnail material. Uh, have you seen the Lotus SUV? V the Eurus or oh, Kawa Hilarious versus what happened to the Lotus? I haven't. What is this and what in the shortcut? What city am I looking at there? I actually have no idea what city this is. Is it LA? Ladies nuts in your mouth. Uh well we were in Yeah yeah yeah, we were in San Fran just a second ago. So I assume this is LA. San Andreas. Uh, you gonna do PvP as well in the race shutdown? Uh, I'll probably play PvP tomorrow, cause you know four hour four hour race and all. Los Santos, not LA. Yeah, look at this guy. Ha oh. ha. All right, what are we eventually gonna be in Liberty City? Uh, oh, clean, nice. Chat, I'm telling you, we need a GTA London. It's got to happen, chat. GTA London. I reckon they ain't doing GTA London because Americans don't actually know or understand any of the culture that goes on in London. London culture isn't exported as much as, like, American culture is exported. GTA, I mean, like, you know what I mean. Like a proper GTA, not a top-down. First turn I did in this race, my game crashed two hours in. Ah! GTA Australia because Aussies uh, say are more dangerous and no guns. Yeah, that's the issue with the GTA London, right? Is explaining the fact that there's guns. I mean, to be fair, they could just like put that into the story, right? Have a what's what's London called in um, GTA? The GTA 2. But yeah, they could just 
do that. Uh, but they could just make the story based on the fact that guns are now in uh, GTA. Or in London or whatever. The Irish mob. London is called London. Oh, is it actually just called London in the game? So the game is shutting down tomorrow. Yeah, I know. So I'll... I, I'm going to be live when the game is shutting down. I'm going to be going live early morning tomorrow. GTA London would literally be... So I said, well, let's be honest. Calling all units should have been a... Cop events like Need Speed, Hot Pursuit, End of. Yeah, sure, yeah. I mean, the, the actual playing the events was pretty boring. Just yeah, Birmingham. I'm convinced, chat, Milton Keynes would actually make a really good video game map. Like, I've cycled through, like, all of Milton Keynes, and, like, there is just such a disparity between everything. There's the old areas, there's, like, council estates, which are just, like, block houses all stacked on everything. There's a city centre, there's, uh... There's these weird, weird as hell little areas in MK. Need MK game. Joe, how you doing, man? How you been? Welcome, man. Was Milky's in the news for his jail recently? Yes. Yes. Uh, apparently some school kids were causing a muck in City Center. I saw that on, like, TikTok when I woke up today. I was like, uh... Hundreds of school children uh, invaded the city center, the shopping center. So close to 100k. I appreciate it, man. Keep it up. I appreciate you. I finally got platinum in the summit. Hey, congrats, man. Which car? What the uh, the new thing? Is it Milton Keynes in Motorsports Valley? Is it? GTA London wouldn't have a point because GTA is satire. Over exaggerated version of the USA. So they couldn't do that in London. They absolutely could do that in London. What are you talking about? Give the Queen a minigun. Like, what are you talking about? They couldn't over the top parody London. Give the Queen a minigun. Why are these checkpoints so close together? <laughs> London is already sat out, right? Queen's dead? Exactly. Then no one will be mad about it. Oh, I don't know. Give Prince Shut. See, Br the, the, the king just, it, it ain't as hype. The king with a minigun ain't as hype. The queen with a minigun? That's hype. Oh, God. Red Bull is in Milton Keynes. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Right, yeah. See, chat. See. I mean. London wouldn't be a satire of the USA. There was a London game before. It, clearly, they can do other countries. I doubt they're glued to USA. It just is convenient because it's a bigger... It's a big cultural thing. The USA is a big culture. Queen with a shotgun? I don't think it goes as hard as Queen with a minigun. Queen with a shotgun is up there. But I just don't think it's as hype as Queen with a minigun. Chat, is there 116 landmarks in this game? I'm so confused. Is this... Is there a checkpoint on every landmark? Or is it just like on the vague route they're all there? Because I would have preferred if it was a checkpoint on every single landmark. If it isn't. When are you going to go live tomorrow? Literally just the moment I wake up. I'll wake up, I'll go live. Well, I'll wake up, I'll shower, I'll go for a run. No, I'll run, I'll go shower, I'll go live. The king with a bit... Harden? Oh. Black Z, welcome. If you do all landmarks, you get enough money for a Zonda. That's how I bought the car. Oh. <laughs> Will this unlock the map for me? Do you unlock map through racing? Because if you do, presumably, this has unlocked me, like, a big chunk of the map. Well, will unlock me. I'm only, a, I'm only at three so far. Look at these skyscrapers, though. This city, the skyscrapers. I feel so much more in this city area that I'm in right now than I ever would in the crew too. I think so. I presume so. Yes. Okay, nice. I probably wouldn't be able to come to the live tomorrow. All good. Mm -hmm. 
has a crap this Lagoon is like, uh, as one of them? Oh, yeah. Huh. What's up? What's going on, gay nightbot? How you doing? Welcome. Chat, shall we get all of the nightbots? Shall we do that, chat? Let's collect bi nightbot, gay nightbot, and, um, I suppose asexual nightbot as well. Where is this taking us? Oh, Storm Drain. Don't go live until I'm available, which is 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is when the game shuts down, you muppet. Autobots roll out. Day night bot. Damn it. New bot is out. Yo! I can make it. Well, I hope you joined. My final crew two live crew one live stream chat. We're gonna play the PvP. We're gonna. I think that's it, really. I might see if I can get Jiron on. Jiron on. I'll see if I can get Jiron on. Yeah. What else is that I that I need to do? I could compare the skyline in all three games. That would be fun. So I could record um I could record the skyline in the crew one and then just record the motorfest and crew two ones later. I don't know how crew versus crew player plays never could do it. I don't think I ever could either, to be fair. Lego channel should be called Bricked Up Watch. <laughs> Go live with Theo? I don't know if Theo's live for the shutdown tomorrow. I mean, if he's live at the same time, I, I could... I don't know. I feel weird being like, do you want to hop in a crew while we're live? If he's on the game, then I might be like, do you want to hop in a crew and play some PvP? Ask him to come on? Ah. What day is it? Sunday? What if the man's working? What game is this? The Crew 1. Being shut down to. Say pretty please. <laughs> Look, he might be up for it. I just feel bad. Alright, I don't... I don't know what it is about it yet. I don't like asking people for stuff. Socially awkward moment. It's like a really specific socially awkward, but sure. Cause I'm 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 absolutely fine outside of that. I can I can make a conversation, I can talk to someone at who at like in person. It's literally just not in person. I can I can do it if it's if it's in person. I can't do it if it's not in person. The moment it goes not in person, I'm screwed. I despise it. But like, yeah, in person, I'm so fine. Offer him three O Henrys. You got an instigator, but you can. Uh, you're not an instigator, but you can carry a combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that's the thing. I can yap away. I, 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 I enjoy a good yap. I talked about it before. Like, I often, I often worry I talk too much. What I try to do a lot in a conversation is prompt someone else to have a conversation, right? Like, the other day when I was at Theo's, it was a bunch of us. Um, and, you know, Josh wasn't able to say much. Uh, Dylan wasn't. So every now and then, if I get the chance, I'll be like, oh, yeah. Like, based on a topic that I think they could have brought up, but they don't. Because, uh, I don't know. I'm Maybe I'm a dickhead for it. I can make a conversation. Like, I can talk in a conversation. I can bounce off them. But a lot of people don't jump into a conversation as much as I know I'm able to do so you know, I'll, I'll I'll go. Oh yeah, Josh actually, and then I'll and then I'll I'll prompt Josh to talk. Oh yeah, Mush actually, D Dylan. Oh yeah, this one time Dylan, and then I'll I'll prompt them to to explain. You know, I like doing that because I see opportunities to butt in, and uh, people don't use it. And P uh, you know, yeah. Dio's M3 will be built by the time Motorfest fixes the livery editor. I I, I saw the M3. I was at Dio's M3. Honestly, for Stick Drift, if we ever do, like, general content on Stick Drift, uh, I'll probably go back to Theo's and do a video checking out his, uh, his whole girl, like, a video. Because, I mean, I've already seen it all, but, like, for a video. Can I cut any of this, chat? Can I, can I, can I shortcut any of this? Where is this checkpoint? Is 
Isn't it weird calling it? Isn't it weird calling it? Pardon? Yes, can I cut some of this? You better be right. Expand map? What's the button? Oh, save as crew Nice. I forgot about expanding map. You can't do it in Murderfest. Sid, you and a call. What about me and a call? Cool guy, by the way. Talked to him a few times. Way back when. No, you will crash and respawn on the road? I'm sure I won't crash. Calling your GF much like, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. It's interesting. One really, I don't know. The one interesting thing is that, uh... My girlfriend, whose nickname is Mush, um... Because it's like a shortened version of her name. But the day, the first day I was ever going to meet her, the first day I was going to meet Mush was like the first time I'd sort of properly trekked into London. And I went to London and I was on the escalator and I didn't know to move to one side. And a guy behind me was like, oh, uh, could you move, mate? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I stepped forward like an idiot. But then he was like, uh, oh, I don't think you get what I'm saying, Mush. Uh, you know, could you move to one side? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. But then I was like, huh. On my first date to go and meet what ended up being my girlfriend, Mush, uh, some random guy has used the Mush semi-insult at me. Which was just a, a, a little bit of fate, chat. And I thought it was like, huh, what are the odds? Speaking of odds, um, I think I, I vaguely mentioned yesterday, but I ran into an old schoolmate um, yesterday, and the odds of that, I won't rehash um, the whole thing. Uh, what I will just mention is the odds of that, because we grew up in a middle of nowhere village, right? A village that entire on in its entirety is five, six roads, six roads in total. Yeah, yeah, I told you the story, but I didn't mention that, like, just how unlikely the odds were of it, right? Six roads in total, this this village that we grew up in. Uh, he was in both of my classes, right? Yesterday it was nine roads. I actually counted it uh, the other day while I was talking to my girlfriend. I was like, hang on, how many roads actually was it? And then, yeah, I counted. Um... That sucks so bad. I'm gonna do it again. I'm doing it again. You're not gonna stop me. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Are they gonna overtake me? Nah. Right? Nah. But yeah. He presumably still lives around there. And I wasn't going to go to the gym yesterday. I needed a video done, and I was like, ah, okay, I'll go gym. And we ended up meeting at the exact same time, uh, on the exact same day. But a bigger one was, I mean, this is, it, it was not close to where I live, but in the same town that I live, right, at least. Another one that happened was um, at Thorpe Park. I ran into an old schoolmate at Thorpe Park, which was on the same day, at the same time, we were in queue for the same ride and ended up being in the queue at the perfect time that we both met up together. The odds of that? Insane. At Thorpe Park, which is not near either of us. Miles away from either of us. And I, don't know, I just thought those odds were wild, is what they were. I was actually having a bunch now. I, um... I randomly met two of uh, my old mates. In, not old mates. One was a newer mate. One was a older mate who I'd ran into on a car meet the other day. Same meet. Two mates. One of them walked past and I noticed him. I was waiting for food and he walked past. I was like, hang on a minute. So I rang him. And then the other one, he was at the back end of the car meet. And I I was just like, I, I vaguely recognized him in the car. And then I was like, wait, that's his car. And I was like, is that? Is that my mate? Uh, went up to him, and I was like, oh shit, what's good, man? <gasps> I 
also ran into uh, an old friend from business. She just walked past me in, um, in like a city center. Uh, this was a while ago. Uh, it was like hot, not not like cra crazy hot off school, but like decently hot off like school. So you know, it was just kind of like a walk past. Don't care about your friend. What are you I, 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 I'll have you know, I care about them, and I'm just telling the story. All right, of running into uh, mates. Um, randomly in, in, in the open world chat. Who knew? It's like a open world activity chat. Just yapping about random ass people. I'm talking about how I call, like I, I, in uh, like I uh, have incredibly often, surprisingly often, ran into old people that I know. That's what I'm talking about. Well, they're random to us. That's not the point of the story, you muppet. The point is that it's it's the fact that I have randomly ran into so many of the old people that I know. TC1 taco looks tacky. Pardon. Well, Sid actually does other things other than play the crew. What? The? What? The? Sid knows people and goes outside. Oh, what? Wait, I'm fourth right now? Oh, right. Shortcut. And we really couldn't care less? Wow, chat. Well. Chat! I, uh, you know what? I guess I'll just shut up then. Fine. Wait, you go outside and touch your ass? I know, right? Uh. It touches grass, right? Uh, do you talk about Josh or Crudez? Oddball viewer. Absolute oddball viewer. Uh, when Sid is more of a gamer than him, honestly, honestly. Um, bang the tweet. I wish I, I wish I, um, talked to a person, uh, that tweet more noticeably. But a while ago, I got a comment that was like, um, I don't know, it was just a regular crew video. And he was like, oh, this is what's gonna make you, oh, your girlfriend is upset you don't spend time with her. Like, a guy who I don't know. Um, Miss NFS, welcome. Uh, is that Miss NFS as in you miss NFS or Miss NFS as in like future Mrs. NFS? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was a guy who randomly on a crew video commented, um, your girlfriend is upset that you don't spend time with her and, and it's all this gaming that you neglect her, that she's upset and won't like you in the future and it will build resentment and everything. And I tweeted it be like, being like, my, my girlfriend plays more games than I do. <laughs> Jet, she will spend a full day. She's at university, right? And she's doing amazingly. So, she's got some spare days. She will spend like a whole day playing Minecraft or COD or Roblox or um, she played The Crew not too long ago, right? Like, truly so much more of a, a a gamer than I am, and and she, she she sent a rather beautiful message as well. She was like, "I love that you play games, and I play games, because we just get to have our own time playing games, and then when we're talking together, we can talk about those games that we played, or we can play games together." I think the exact words were like, "I love that you play games because it gives me time to play games." Uh, what's up? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Playing the four-hour event. Uh, and to be honest, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I suppose both then. I got a lot of um, W relationship from that one. Your money method on the crew gave me 20k. On which crew? Oh, crew Murfest? Give me 20k. What are you doing wrong? Oh, oh, are you watching the older one? You're watching the older one. Check out the newer one I posted. Uh, let me go to it. Let me show you. Let me. Show ya. Uh, go to this one. This one right here. Not patched. Then the insane money method. That one right there. That's the that's the one that currently works. There we go. Uh, on God Gaming Couples are a W, me and Mr. NFS. Uh, met on Need to see Payback. Uh, been together since Payback dropped. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, mine ain't that wholesome. We, we met on a dating app. 
and we both talk about how ugh, it is that we met on a dating app. Okay, uh, so can you stream 11 a.m.? I need to go to ch chat. I'll stream like whenever I wake up. I'll wake up and I'll stream until the crew one shut down, right? At which point I will go and edit like the final moments of the crew one, you know? He said 20k. 20k? K? That's, I think that's 20 mil? You don't want to know what 20 billion is. If that's, the, if that's how that works. You do not want to know what 20 billion is. Okay, that's a bad joke. I thought it was funny, though. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you find a girl who games chat, you're winning. You're winning. I guess. You know, I, I would definitely say I am. Plus, we're also just, like, very good at, like, pushing each other. Who's older? I'm older by, like, eight months, I think. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, it comes to the best I met my... Well, I haven't met anyone, but uh, I'll tell you when I do. Ah, oh. Yeah, we also, like, really push each other. Um, we both go gym. I mean, she didn't before, but because I do, just on her own accord, she was like, you know what, I want to start doing that kind of stuff. Because she saw that I was doing that kind of stuff. And now, you know, she works out, I work out, she jogs, I jog. And we both just, like... I don't know, it's nice to not be in a relationship where you got to tiptoe around that stuff. I, I, I think it's... can happen to any person, right? Man or woman. But sometimes you get with someone who... can feel bad about themselves, but then also hates for that to ever be brought up or any change to be ever made, right? Like, me and Musha are not unfit by any sense. <sighs> oh, definitely not. Oh, god damn. But, you know... We're like, shit, we could get fucking hot doing this. Yeah, we, we could get goddamn. We could get hot. Alright, that's what. That's literally. We're, we're just like, yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be fucking hot. Is, is all we talk about. I have a question. What's the question? Eight months older. Okay, yeah. Let's, 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 let's not even jokingly chuck that around because that is detrimental. Dev has been seven years. Professionals have standards. Uh, check Discord. Laugh at me. Uh, whatever you want. How do you mean? Oh, do I play with a core? Um, I'll, I'll hop into a stream every now and then, but I don't play with them, no. I don't really... Do I play much Murderfest in my spare time? I never used to, and I think I still don't. Oddball viewer, dude. You can't... It's not even that I feel awkward. It's the stigma behind it. It's funny the way we met. I absolutely shit-talked the... Okay. Uh, for being bad at payback. Six months later, we got together, been together since. Oh, oh, What a nice relationship. Little uh, story to have, you know. I mean, it would be nice to... Um, it would be nice to, to have, like, a story where it's like, yeah, we... We'll both walk in and bumped into each other and, and she dropped her papers and I helped her grab them and then and then we were like, Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, can I make it up to you? Let me take you out to, to dinner or whatever. And then we talked and then we got each other's numbers and then... No, it's just kind of like, you know, fucking she swiped right, I swiped right. Do you know how shit it is that that's the story? Yeah, I might just fucking lie. We, we talk about how it's like, shall we just lie? Should we just like lie and say we met a different way? Let's do it. Let's go for it. I love this game. is the most viewed out of the three crews on Twitch right now. Gonna miss it? Damn, is it? I didn't know that. Dead airplanes, indeed. One hour. Oh, chat, we hit one hour. No way. One hour into the four-hour event. I mean, to be fair, at this pace... I mean, the checkpoints are definitely not evenly spaced, but at this pace, chat, what are we at? <laughs> Two and a bit? Two and a bit hours, I guess? Three, no, no, no. Roughly three hours. Okay, we're at a three-hour pace, I guess. Lying? All right, I'm going to do that. I have a girlfriend. I mean more about the specifics of it, not the having a girlfriend to begin with. Bit. My brain hurts watching the Skyline drive for so long. I wish I just made it regular Skyline blue. I'm not sold on this color anymore. Chat, shall we quickly... 
Shall we quickly quit and go customize this to be blue and then come back into the race? Shall we do that, chat? My first girlfriend kicked me in the head and I fell in love. Should I lie about that? No, that's a brilliant story. What are you talking about? Four hour race? Yes, this is the four hour race in the game. Customize these nuts. No! No, 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 don't, no. Okay, chat, I won't, I won't, I won't. Make it so blue it's purple. Is that what happens? The blue meter spikes out and just goes purple, chat. I suppose the orange meter could spike to red. I thought New York was long? Yeah, yeah. This is the longest event in any crew game. And well... Oh, well, if you don't count custom events, because yes, there's like a one-week-long event in... Um, there's a one-week-long event in Crew 2 with the race creator, but that doesn't count. Right? I played the crew, but I don't remember a four-hour race. It's a faction event. It's uh, the Landmark Tour. Oh, God. I do actually need to go make that protein shake at some point. I'm gonna lie, I'm happy. Oh, come on. Well, good thing I'm here as a distraction. This is low-key the crew run. No way. How do you make a week-long event? Um, well, the longest possible event in the crew, too, is back and forth between uh, Seattle and Miami, and then that spammed constantly issue is is no one can publish that event because you have to finish the event to publish the event apparently there's a 24 hours Le Mans race in a very old racing game in a very old Gran Turismo game I'd love that I would love that. you know what I love chat endurance races I want a lap counter in the motorsports play. I want a lap counter adjustment in the game. Full stop. Why is there no lap counter adjustment? Ivory Tower. Is the crew one worth buying? No, wait till tomorrow. You should wait till. You should wait till tomorrow to buy Motorfest. It. Uh, sorry, crew one. It's. Uh, it's definitely worth it. You should definitely wait. No, no. The game shuts down tomorrow. Don't buy this game. Timed races instead of lap races. Well, there's lap races in the game. So just make them, just make them, goddamn, make them, make them what I want. Do what, do what I want, uh, crew. That's what you should do. You can get it on, um, you can get it, you can get this game on CD keys. I got it on CD keys. In all honesty, do you feel the crew Murfest is just $60? We actually talked about that earlier. Um, no. Because I think that discounts so much of what was done. It started out as a DLC, yes, but like so did so many games, right? Assassin's Creed Mirage. Um, I believe one of the Saints Rose started out as a DLC. Starting out as a DLC doesn't really count towards anything, right? But calling it a $60 DLC negates the graphics, the, the graphics, um, it, massive improvements, the lighting, the environment being 10 times better, um, the, yeah, the map quality, it negates the physics improvements, the, the essential physics overhaul. The uh, event uh, design, the playlist format, the PvP, the, the improved PvP with the demo, the um, Grand Race, it negates the, the gameplay style being overhauled, the uh, progression style being overhauled, the better collaborations done, it, it, it negates too much. I, I will say the game is very flawed. Livery Creator sucks. Photo mode sucks. And those two things are just copy pastes, but worse. But things that aren't, I don't think mean, it means it's not a, 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 a DLC, I would say. That's my opinion, as a part. Buy it at, <laughs> buy it at uh, two pounds or one. Chat, I should make a short. Well, there was a solid, a physical copy of the crew at, um... We got a Sid G's. Alright, alright. I don't know, to be honest, I had a choice either the Crew Fest or Armored Core. Let's just say I should have gotten an Armored Core. Ah, sure, yeah. So what is it that you not like uh, that you don't like about the game? I'm not the crew salesman here, don't worry. In fact I get constantly called out in current day for just shitting on the game. It's so unfortunate, yeah. Because people outside of my audience are like, 
you crew shill? This guy's such a Ubisoft shill. And then people in my audience, I'm always getting comments about, just stop complaining. Why are you always complaining? Ugh, stop. Why are you always complaining about the game? I'm screwed. But yeah. Two pounds of steel. I saw it for four pounds at a physical retailer. Uh, but yeah, buy it at one past two. You should. Continue complaining when it's deserved. That's the thing. I don't feel like I've unjustly complained. People like the game and that's fine. I just think there's so much about the game which sucks. Hell no, the physics, uh, it is uncontrollable. Who gave the drift spec main the key, uh, the, the physics edge? Wait, pardon? Who gave the drift spec main the keys to make the physics engine? What, in Motorfest? I mean, if you play assist on, you're not exactly going to be sliding around very much. And I would argue that sounds close to real life in, in some aspects. Having assi all assists off, meaning slidey. Having assists on, meaning not slidey. I quite like that it isn't pay to win. Yeah, yeah, that, that is nice. There was a lot of pay to win in Crew 2, unfortunately. Um, just... just Odd cars that were in the motor pass that were the best, like the Tempesta. They were, well, technically speaking, it wasn't pay to win. It was time lock uh, win, really. It was cars that you couldn't buy anymore. They were free at the time, but you 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 couldn't buy or get them anymore. That were the best. Did they ever have an explicitly pay to win car? The R8 exists. The R8 is bad. The R8 isn't a good car. The game is beautiful. The cars are beautiful. The environment is gorgeous for me. It just seems like cramming that down your throat to avoid the fact that they could have given us a bigger map, more balanced vehicles. Balanced vehicles, I'm not sure on. Bigger map, yeah. Bigger map, yes. Uh, I interviewed the creative director, and the worst thing he said was um, that they have no plans of using those islands in the distance. Yeah, the Nighthawk. That was the one I was going to mention. The Nighthawk... Uh, before someone rudely brought up the R8, which doesn't even count. Um, but yeah, the Nighthawk was the probably the only explicit pay to win in the game. Most of them were time lock win. Honestly, why not Germany with the Autobahn? Yeah, sure, honestly. It's a French company as well, right? Just take a goddamn train down. Go and, go and visit Germany and make the map based on that. R8 is top meta in Unbound, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, Crew Motorfest recently added a paid R8. Um, it's a paid Audi, or the, the Powdy, if you will. Um, that thing isn't good. <laughs> Thankfully. The one, the big thing that Motorfest has done, which I don't think people are talking about really enough, is that they got rid of FOMO. Like, the main stage legacy, as much as I don't like the main stage legacy, it is, without a doubt, removing FOMO. Right? The only FOMO in Motorfest now is the Summit. People complaining about DLC cars in Forza, yet they are $8. I mean, then again, I bought a car pack in Forza, and it cost me £4, all right? That's pretty goddamn good. Just say. And I did that, like, after the Audi, which was like, oh, God, this is what Forza are, are getting, and we aren't. Imagine they have a, a Devil 16. They add a demo, Devil 16. I don't even know what that is. What's FOMO? Fear of missing out. Limited time content. Oh, I need to play the game or else I'm not going to get this. Oh, wait. Ah, no, oh, that's a car I didn't... Ah, oh, that's a car I can't get because I didn't play the game at that time. Okay, I'm going to have to keep playing the game every week or else I'm not going to get these cars. I don't mind Main Stage Legacy. I just think it should have been done better and it should have been done later. But all in all, I think it's pretty good. And I enjoyed playing it. We need stories and mobile and TCF. They need to do more unique things. Like, uh, they need a playlist where instead of skills, they have stories. Like, stuff like that. Little unique things is what they need. Summit FOMO is annoying as I buy cars I don't care about a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, then again, at least Summit FOMO is skill-based. Right? I don't know. Technically, that's even more limited. Depends. But yeah, they need to use playlists to do more unique things. Like, a playlist where all the skills are like mad style skills instead, right? Unique. 
a playlist where instead of photos and speed traps, they have, yes, yeah, stories, right? Like, just unique things with certain playlists. The R.A. Elva edition, yeah. Loki, I want to see a Hennessy Venom. Yeah, sure. I'm going to get my PC fixed for to use the PS5 trial to grind the summit. Screw FOMO, yeah. Ugh. I mean, the, the cross progression is quite nice. All right, L edition, for real. Is that a... It's that car from Dubai that was supposedly the fastest car in the world with the unproven records. Oh, right. Yeah. I feel like that was brought up on the podcast a lot, I think. Or someone brought it up when me and Josh were talking. Not really his past, past base FOMO? What do you think? Oh, God damn it. You on PS4? No, I'm uh, playing on PC right now. I wouldn't dare do this on PS. PS has the worst, like, um, security infrastructure. And I'm not getting DDoSed in the middle of a four-hour event, all right? Getting an IP while someone's on PS is this simple. And it's insane that it's still that easy. Devil 16 in TCM is crazy. I wish. Doesn't look like four hours at this rate. It looks like it'll probably be close to like three hours. I think, yeah, we, we, we calculated it, right, yeah? Or estimated, and it seemed more like three hours. You're not big enough to do, be DDoS? Absolutely incorrect. I was getting DDoSed for like the whole of 10,000 subscribers to a certain, I forget which amount. I've been getting DDoSed for hey, ages, ages, ages. Like, um, then what I ended up doing instead was I finally got protection for it. So instead of DDoSing the stream, like, I, if, if you were around at that time, um, you'd remember my streams were really buggy. Like, they would just drop out sometimes, or I'd have to start streaming again, or it would drop to zero bitrate or whatever. It does that sometimes now, but that's always a technical issue. Before it was DDoS. Like people would uh, what is ddosing it's a thing you can do when you grab an ip and then you can boot that ip offline using whatever whatever but yeah it, it was now what i do is i use like um vpns and a bunch of different stuff where the ddos just meant like i would know when it happens because only my crew would go off instead of everything normally everything would go off but instead just my crew would go off so i would just go oh okay and then quickly reset the IP. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm back on the game. Um, and it's all because of PlayStation. Right? Uh, fuck it, put in Jet Sprint. Jet Sprint is technically in the game. You should, uh, see, you clickbaited the race races in four hours long. In the game, the race says it is four hours long. If you click on the game... Oh, no. Is it four hours? It's like one hour plus. I don't even know. It's known as the four-hour race. Oh, God. I wasn't looking. You basically shut off someone's internet from somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. And that would happen to be for ages. Some really upset, disgruntled viewer, I suppose. Oh, God. New York is looking a little weird today. Hey. New York is... is New York is a drag event with this, uh, <laughs> relative to this. Remember that a lot of people drive worse than Sid, hence four hours? There you go. Also, yeah, if you don't know, Jet Sprint is in Motorfest files-wise. Um, I don't know if they patched it, but if you own every car in the game, a Jet Sprint car would show up in the recommended bundles. But it was that one guy from the Black Panther Discord? I know, I know the Black Panther Discord just doesn't like me. Which is why I've talked to Theo a few times about that, but yeah, it's just... I mean, he's even said it's like, it's viewers viewers who get like a power trip the moment you give them a bit of power. Jesprin Khan. How are you? I'm doing good. How is everyone in chat today? I stop slouching, man. Chat, no way. Wearing the Crew 2 top today. The officially licensed Crew 2 t-shirt. No way. Hype. I have all of the officially licensed Crew stuff now, to be fair. I think Josh bought me... 
one, two of them. Josh bought the cap. Um, I've got the t-shirt and I've got the jacket. Um, but Mush has the jacket. Because she's got this one outfit where it looks, it looks ball up. Yeah, I, I couldn't wear that jacket. She can pull off that jacket. Bored and studying. Oh, God. Good, good. I good. Uh, well, didn't like your TCM build and uh, DDoS you for a day. Uh, that crazy. Yeah. Thankfully, I play TCM on PC, so I've never had that issue. My brother deleted all of my games from my PlayStation. I'm livid. Thanks for my me. Oh. Good built Lego Formula One car. Nice. Uh, you should put all your crew merch, including the helmet, uh, put on all your crew merch while finishing this race. Yeah. Yeah. Can I wear all my crew merch while finishing the longest event in the game? Is Kiss Me Call Me still good? I mean, yeah, but the new event is better. Dual exhaust should be illegal. Is this even dual exhaust or is this like dual dual exhaust? Because, well, this is quad exhaust is what this is. This ain't no dual exhaust. Then again, I do get what you mean. Dual exhaust, like just one of those in isolation. Yeah, pretty ugly, pretty ugly. This is a very blue skyline. Where is this, Dallas? Yeah, right? Yeah, must be. What's the last city we left? LA? I mean, this is probably Dallas. I assume so. That looks like that one... I don't know. No, yeah, this is Dallas. Spit duels on JDM cars are horrible. Yeah. Eh, this thing's in Rallycross. You know, what are you going to do? Not the right road. Shit, I've been really well. <laughs> OMG, is that Dallas? Yeah. Tomorrow's the final day of the crew one. Will you make a video tomorrow about the game? I'm gonna be streaming the final moments of the game. The ascent isn't working for me. It's not bad. It just keeps teleporting me back to the start. Unfor Wait, which spec are you doing it in? If you can hop on that I might do. I might do. Hypercar might be a skill issue then. What is, what is, uh, what's your hypercar level? Brickwise video idea. Remake the Crew 2 artwork. The one with all the planes. Uh, but in Lego? Sure. I mean, I'd rather do like Top Gear cars than I would do recreating the Crew 2 car. Maxed out. Unfortunately, like my grandmother used to say, that might be skill issue code. Um, check out my most recent video if you haven't already for the route. And then just... Which hypercar are you using? TCM would be easier? Yeah, I mean, I guess Supra, Revuelto. Can't buy the Revuelto, though. There is a really good Revuelto mark, but can't buy it because... One of the parts just doesn't exist. Like, you can't buy it anywhere. It's like an orange fender. You just can't buy it. Stories in TCM would actually make me want to explore and take in my surroundings. Yeah. I miss making story videos. Stories videos were a pain, but I miss making them. They were like, I, I would have to stay up all damn night. I would stay up all night. I would... Um... I'd stay up all night, I'd make the- I'd do the story while recording it, I would then make a video where I would show you where the thing is, but I would show the drive there as well. And the reason I would show the drive there as well is because I would read out the story while driving there. So, you know, people can listen to the actual story while driving to the locations. Recreating racing game covers in TCM. Not a bad idea. It would kind of just be a photoshopped video, but not a bad idea at all. The cities in TC1 look better than TC2. They feel more visceral. You feel more in the cities than you did in TC2. I reached the hospital at the exact time you do in your video. 
you make it. Okay, yeah. So there's a different route now. There's a there's a not there's a non-hospital route. So yeah, check out my most recent, I suppose. Uh, I think we should go to Times Square in New York, and we will see the final moments of TC1. I mean, yeah, I'll be recording when those final moments happen, and then I will upload that as a video. Like, I'll literally, I'll, the final moments that happen, I'll end stream, I'll go edit and record, uh, edit and upload. That'll be tomorrow's video. Cities in racing games are kind of boring. Ah, I don't know if I would agree. Depends on the city. I feel like they can get pretty boring pretty quick if they're not ginormous. I'd say cities in the crew too were never really boring just because of how many there were. Oh, thanks for the help. I'll make sure. Uh, what's your latest? Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll notice. It's a uh, not patched exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And then the rest of the thumbnail. Well, the rest of the title. People were rather upset at me for that video, by the way, chat. So, the wild thing is that, chat, is that people think I have an effect on what gets done in this game. And that's why, like, I got a lot of comments being like, Oh, I'm bloody making another video on this and they're gonna patch it now because you made this video. They're gonna make a, they're gonna patch it because you made this video, goddammit. So, oh, wow, so you're just gonna make a video about it not being patched, right? I believe you haven't heard this story before. I don't remember saying it. Um, but yeah. Ouch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very upset people. Uh, and the thing is, I don't get how people think I have any say in in what gets changed in this game. If I have any uh, sway at all. You think I already know? What time are you streaming tomorrow? Just whenever I wake up. If you did, the A110 would have appeared by now. Exactly! If I ever get added to Motorfest... What just fell? Oh, an A110. Actually, my A110 hot wheel just fell. Um, if I ever get added to Motorfest, they better have the Alpine A110 first. Because then I'm putting my logo in that little light. But yeah. I don't understand how people think I have any sway in what they change in this game. If, if I had any sway on what should change, Livery Creator would be fixed. The... Uh, Demolition Royale would actually have care put into it. The... Oh God, Demo Royale would actually have so much care put into it. I made a tweet about this. I'll, I'll look up that tweet in a second. Hang on. Uh, what, did the, what, what did I say, Jeff? What, what was this? What, was, what did this tweet entail? Uh, if I if Ivory Tower used my channel to know what to patch, there would be a working livery creator, better photo mode, Demolition Royale would actually be cared about, and we would have one playlist a month. And clearly, Ivory Tower don't care about my videos. In a, yeah, yeah, I realized I did that. Theo has some sway, right? Probably not. I mean, maybe a while ago, but not in current day, no. Oh, what the huh? I mean, when the Crew 2 was in beta, yes. Current day? I just don't think they play the... I, just, I don't think he plays the game enough. I don't think he plays the game often enough for them to... For him to have these big criticisms. I know he's made some videos about I love hate motorfest or whatever, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that has any sway either. Uh, Sid, I uh, Sid, you do you forget I you could land Lamborghini Defender never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh god, the crew two is a beta male. You know, uh, 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 I'll ask him myself. That just won't do anything. A call could if Ivory Tower were trying to almost not let him play the game. I mean, a call, uh, yeah, yeah, a call, definitely not someone they uh, I listen to. I suppose, given 
given the circumstances. And I don't... I'm hesitant to say he's done anything not justified given his circumstances. If I was to be kicked off of early accesses and stuff for a reason, for any reason, would I be as angry about it? I don't know. I've thought about it because I'm like, God, I do criticize this game a lot. What if they cut me off of the early accesses? Um, and I'm like, would I be mad about it? I'm like, oh, maybe I'd want to be like, can you believe that Ivory Tower did this? Cancel Ivory Tower, girl. I think I'd just try my hardest to switch to Forza. Like, I think there and then, I would just try my absolute hardest to switch to Forza. I reckon. Is it cool from Russia? I don't know. But I believe that was the basis of the ban. Don't trust the British? Believe yeah, absolutely. Your criticisms are fair, though. And not blind hate. And I hope that that's how Ivory Tower sees it. I, I really hope that's how Ivory Tower sees it. Because that's the worry. Is just how Ivory Tower sees my criticism. A Forza Switch means playing both Forzas. This includes both. What are you, what are you holding me accountable? See, if you switch to Forza, you're, you're, we're, we're forcing you to play both. Which, ah, shit, my triceps from yesterday. That's gonna kill tomorrow. We're forcing you to goddamn play Forza Motorsport as well. You should just twerk. Honestly, I thought about it. I thought about it. And you know what? Uh, yeah, okay. I don't have my green screen shorts on, chat. Unfortunately. Should get kicked for being British. Uh, okay. Can you censor when you're putting slurs like the word British, please? Look, I live here. I'm allowed to say that word. The B word. But can you can you please censor when you say slurs like the like British, please? Welcome Cheeseburger. How you doing? Gotcha. What are we closing in on? An hour and a half? We're two we're two minutes away. A minute and a half away from an hour and a half in total. I think they investigated the roots of his... Yeah, so that's... I, I Didn't he... Because originally he said his grandmother was Russian, and that's why. But didn't he recently say it's because his, his account was Russian? I think... I, I'm fairly sure recently he said because his account is Russian. Give me one second, chat. I will be right back. Chat, watch my crew while I'm gone. Um, uh, chat, huh? 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 Chat, huh? Huh? Chat, I have to re-release the huh merch, honestly. With this huh trend, I gotta drop the huh merch again. What city is this? Quick chat, Geo guess up. It's not Dallas. I don't think it's Miami. It's not DC. Oh, I know where it is. It's, it's the one right off of Dallas. New Orleans? It's New Orleans. Maybe? No, where the fuck is New Orleans? I know where this is. It's to the right of Dallas, collected by a highway. Connected by a highway. It's Bristol. Is it New Orleans? Am I right? I'm fairly certain this is New Orleans. 
I'm actually nuts, chat. Crew 2 Geo gets a king. I might do another Crew 2 Geo guess. That game was fun. Oh god, now. I mean, because I don't know Forza's map very well, I could do a Forza GeoGuessr. The map just is big enough, really. Do a TCM GeoGuessr? I know the map too well. Realistically. I could try. I could try doing a Motorfest GeoGuessr. The crew put Dallas where Houston is. Houston's a city? Bro, <laughs> bro's Japanese. Chet, how far, how, how far ahead are we from the AIs? Oh, we're, we're past, um, Chet, we're past the halfway mark. And we're at an hour and a half. Okay, it's looking like three hours, Chet, good. We need to talk to Houston or whatever the astronauts say. Yeah. Houston, you up, question mark? Or whatever Lance Armstrong said. The point of GeoGuessr is you need to know the map. I will finish it at... I don't know it... <sighs> the map isn't big enough. That's really what it is. It's that, like... I know the Crew 2's map pretty well. So that I could at least for every single one, I could probably go for, like, five minutes. Trying to suss out where it is. The Crew Motorfest, on the other hand? Just not the same thing. The Crew Motorfest, I could suss out where I am in, like, two minutes? Easy. Not even two. Like a minute. I recognize all the roads in Motorfest. It's not as it's not as interesting to know all the roads in Motorfest. In the crew two, the fact that I could pinpoint where I was in the crew two, that was actually impressive. Given the size of the map. So just did a wheelie for a whole six seconds. I highly doubt you could. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, I bet you couldn't, I bet you couldn't it me into doing a video, all right? Yeah, I, I bet you'd actually suck at doing a money guide. Yes, dude, I, I bet you would actually suck at coming to my house and giving me 50,000 pounds. You won't. I bet you won't. I, I bet, I bet that you won't. I know you couldn't. I don't need a video. Uh, this is even sarcasm. I absolutely could. Oh, God. Ow. Try Geo-Guesser before some motorsport tracks. What, as in I have to guess where a track is? I would alienate the entire Forza audience immediately. Did he just say that X track is in X country? What a poser. This guy knows nothing about cars. What's he even doing playing a car game? Get him out of here. I managed to do a wheelie for six seconds. Huh. Yes, this video has a 777 body kit, which looks like the Mustang GTD. What's the Mustang S650? I'm sad, please send me cute pics of your credit card, Uwu. The new Mustang? Oh, okay, sick. Yeah, so what, is it like the GTD? I mean, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a video on that Mustang whenever it's, uh, whenever it's added. And then I can do like, oh, GTD body kit, uh, GTD body kit, question mark? Question mark, GTD body kit? I might go back to, uh, webcam reaction phases. I don't know. I need A-B testing is what I need. For thumbnails. Rip, rip indeed. Who's who's ripping? What's rip? Oh, this game? Sure, rip. Well, it's either webcam reaction face or full screen reaction face, alright? Crazy how Motorfest was made off of this game's engine? Yeah, yeah. Honestly. This game has the same engine as Motorfest, and that's wild. Huh. 
I didn't actually realise my cable was this long. I can lean pretty far back. That is really awkward. That is a very awkward head position. My monitor would need to be like 50 times taller for that. GIF or GIF? Uh, GIF. But the engine was upgraded, sure, but it's still the same engine, right? Aren't you tired of this race? I mean, what do you want me to say? I mean, yeah, but like... I do sometimes look at the timer and I'm like, it's only been five minutes since I last checked it. You know, doesn't matter. But no, I'm alright. We're, we're looking at landmarks and I'm getting to play a bit of like crew geo guesser. Like, this is clearly Miami, right? I think. Hang on. Let me... Let me not jump the gun. Is this Miami? No one spoil it. Oh, God. Now, I know Nashville is around here somewhere. But I'm not sure if this is Nashville. It might be. I feel like Nashville is a lot smaller than this. It's not Washington, D.C. Roads aren't square enough to be Washington, D.C. But it might be. It might be, actually. No, 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 no. Absolutely, this is Washington, D.C. Look at the trees. Trees are too tropical. This is Miami. Yep, this is Miami. I know this whole road. I was right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Miami. It's not, it's not Washington. It is Miami. I'm telling you right now. Washington has way more of a square road layout. You gonna do a bit about the three Jags and the crew too? Absolutely. It's the last ever cart added. This is Vice City. Yeah, you're right. GTA 6, no way. GTA 6 early gameplay. Let's go, let's go. I've already forgotten what the song for the GTA trailer was. But, like, imagine it's playing right now. GTA is extreme. Chat, I should quickly put GTA 6 in the title. That wouldn't be clickbait. GTA 6 Early Access. Dun, 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 dun. Would a video recreating GTA 6's trailer in the Crew 2? Oh, sorry, Crew Merkfest. Would that be a valid video to do? Well, I guess Crew 2 would make more sense, right? Huh. I don't think it'd be a terrible video. Is that valid, chat? Is that a valid video to do? Recreating GTA 6's trailer in, um... Crew 2? Or crew boat vest, either one, I guess. How many care you drive this hard to see? I have driven 301. <laughs> About five months too late? Eh, so what? There's always GTA 6 hype. Thanks to the YouTube channel. Any words of advice from your end? Uh, a few positive, a few vids. Uh, I mean, it really depends what you're trying to do, really. I often don't recommend doing YouTube. I'm just a bit of a cynic, really. It's, uh, it's I, but, like, there's better things you can do. Um, I know that's not the advice you want to hear. Uh, it depends what kind of content you're doing, really. Is what is the advice I can give. So once you let me know that, then I can give some more valid advice other than just, oh, don't do it. Well, actually, I could recreate it in the crew, uh, the crew one, because there's strip clubs in the crew one. <laughs> so I could recreate it in the crew one better than the crew two. I've got our dumb the physics war in this game. Yeah. Yeah. Very silly. Hopefully modders can fix this game. Can you believe it's always been uh, for years since the GTA trailer drop? Has it? I don't think it has. Surely it hasn't. What are we driving? Is this Cape Canaveral? Is this Daytona? Are we not going to go to the Keys? What 
are we doing at Cape Canaveral already? I, I thought we would go down to Keys, but I guess not. This ain't no landmark tour. We didn't even go to Keys. We're already heading to Daytona and Cape Canaveral. Boo. I dare say, chat. Boo. Tut tut. I'm playing GTA 7. Where's it set? That's all I want to run. No, really. What I really want to know is where the next uh, Forza is set. Roblox Road, for real. Time flies pretty fast. Is it actually been? Ow. Do the graphics downgrade every hour? <laughs> hey, people say this game is really, really good graphically. People say that. No racing game is ever doing Japan for the sole reason that, like, if they did Japan, say Forza does Japan, right? Say they do Japan, right? And then the next game goes somewhere else, right? They go to, who cares, right? They go somewhere else. If they do that, everyone will just go, oh, I'm not playing this new Forza. I'm going to go back to the Jap I'm going to go back to the Japan one. And then when the next one comes out, oh, look at that. Another copy-paste Forza. I'm just going to stay playing the Japan one. Oh, look at this next one that just came out. Another copy-paste. I'm just going to play the Japan one. No one would ever go to the next game if they made a Japan Forza. No matter how, be how much better the physics, the graphics, the cars, everyone would play the Japan one regardless of the game continuing. Like, it would do great when it comes out, but everyone after wouldn't do as well. I'm genuinely curious on the numbers. Has every Forza outsold the last? Or, like, done better than the last? Make a really bad Japan map so people move on. True, true. Make Japan, but make it so bad that when you make a new game, they're like, oh, you know what? That map wasn't really good. Let's actually go to a new one. I mentioned this. Uh, I commented on the uh, one Forza vid from Ewan. Oh, the Japan thing? Yeah. China would go hard, but US Senator would probably ask the game developers if they're part of the Chinese government's filing for that. I mean, there's a big likelihood that they do China, right? Like, there's a big, big likelihood that China is is the next game. Just because of, like, all the Chinese cars they've been doing. And the fact that 30%, like, 31% of Forza's audience is estimated to be Chinese. Not they're estimated to be Chinese. Uh, Chinese. No. Uh, it is estimated that they are, that 31% 30, is Chinese. Now the floating cameras would make sense if it was China. <laughs> yeah. Instead of XP, you get social credit. China kind of bad ethically and all considering... Oh, yeah, yeah, 1,000%. 1,000%. Have you heard of this little thing that happens when a company and money get together, though? Have you heard of, have you heard of money? Money and company? Because I'm just saying, Forza knows that they would sell with China. And it's East Asian. What country do I want the next Forza to be in? I don't care. I know where I want the next crew game to be. But Forza, I don't really care for. I don't fucking put it in London. Nah, 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 that would be bad. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have anything. I understand you basically saying upload different genres which works for you. Uh, having a USB, uh, have a USB basically. You meant message uh, crew. Yeah, you do kind of want to have a USB, but like, know that that is now no. You're no longer gonna enjoy that. Italy, there's a Forza in Italy. Do I have that still on my Xbox? Chat. Have they? Sh can I still play the Italian Forza? Because I've got X. I've got uh, Forza Horizon 2 on my Xbox. Can I still play that? I completely forgot. I have, I have an Italian Forza. Mush, I can, I can play the Italian Forza and show you if you like.
Oh, it's that you... The... Oh, yeah. Yes, please, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I completely forgot until now. Yeah, of course, there's a... There's a Forza set in Italy. Well, is it, it's, it's Italy and a different country, right? I think. It's like half and half. I enjoyed that game when I played it. I really did, honestly. Now that I think back to it. France and Italy. Yeah, there you go. I'll go to Ivory Tower. No way. Oh, so presumably be, it, it would be the top of Italy as well then, right? So chance that, uh, that where Mush grew up is in there. FH2 peak game. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some more, I guess. I'm gonna have to pick my Xbox 360 off of the um, off the TV, though. I'm gonna have to put it on my PC desk. Wait, really? I don't know if it'll be in the game, but it might be. Is the whole Italy there? No, 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 no. no. Forza doesn't do whole Italy, whole of anything. No. It's like a, but there's a chance that where you grew up will be. Don't even bother on the 360 edition. Oh. oh no, don't worry. I would, I would go on Xbox One. You can emulate uh, it on your PC for better performance. I don't own the game. Nostalgic game arc leak. I do think about playing some old school racing games on the channel. I'm never sure how they would do it. What's the real car you own, be honest? Uh, nothing. I don't own a car IRL. Do you like driving in real life or just in video games? I don't drive in real life. I'd love to drive in real life, but no, I don't. I don't drive in real life. I tell you the, the Whipple for the Whipple name. I don't have the teddy for it yet. Oh yeah, Whipple. Oh god. The jump of quality from the 360 Xbox One is actually insane. Yeah. Like, half of the map is blocked off in 360? Oh. So was it like a remaster or like a like a, like a properly updated version? Cycle IRL or in video games? I would say IRL, honestly. Um, you know what? Cycling, vi cycling in video games isn't as, uh, isn't as draining. Not draining, like I, like, I enjoy cycling, but like physically? I cycle a lot. Have a good day or nice to you later. Have a good, 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 good. Just a really bad port. It was made for the Xbox One and given off to be made for 360. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it started on 360 and was brought upwards. No, never mind. It's a small town close to Milano. I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let me just bring up the Forza Horizon 2 map. What am I doing? Uh, Forza. Horizon 2 map. Da, 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 da. Is this HD? I want like really high quality. Thank you. Which bit is Italy? This bit. Italia. And then France. Uh, we got San Giovanni. We got Montel Montalino. We got um, other things. This is a Reddit post. Ew. We got Ten, uh, Tenuta Montellino. We got Zona Industrial. We got Castelletto. San Giovanni. And then I guess, yeah, we go France after that. Mm, mm, no Bedford. Yikes. Yikes. I mean, there's little towns here and there. Is there? Actually? No, I don't know. This is a pretty big map. Is this? Is it, I mean, is it? No, I guess it isn't. No, now that I really look at it. No, it isn't. No. Huh. It's of the time, I suppose. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the Italy side of the map. The castle area is goaded. She. Oh, yeah, there's an Assassin's Creed game that I own that is also set in Italy, of course. Hey, Sid, what do you think of TC1? Is it wasted potential or did they do good with it? A lot of stuff is wasted potential, but a lot of stuff is like, oh, wow, they actually really cared about this. Mo a, a bunch of stuff is really cared about. 
that map doesn't look like Italy? Well, no, because it's, it's a bit of Italy and a bit of France, obviously. I mean, I'll show you driving around it, you know. And I guess you're the one who's going to have to be like, Oh yeah, this does look like Italy, or doesn't. Chat, we're coming up on two hours. We're 12 minutes away from being in this race for two hours. Oh, this is, um, Washington. Thousand percent this is Washington. Assassin's Creed 2. Where is Assassin's Creed 2 set specifically in Italy? Is it Rome? I swear it's Rome. I assume it would be, right? It's a 2 to 1 recreation of Italy, so you're telling me all of Italy is in it? I doubt all of Italy is, is in it. Florence, but multiple locations. Okay. TC2 map is goated. This is TC2's map, but bigger. Scale-wise, it's all... It's a lot of the same, but the scale has changed. You could go 900 miles per hour in a Venino in Forza Horizon because of a suspension bug. <laughs> that does sound pretty cool. Assassin's Creed is scary and difficult one, right? It's not scary. I don't know if it'd be difficult. You're not that type of gamer, so... I guess you're better off watching me play it. Which I'd be happy to do. Um, I wouldn't say it's scary, no, no. It's more like uh, you do go around and do a lot of killing, but that's just kind of the nature of um, being an assassin. <laughs> Is YouTube ever gonna fix if I get restart in the stream when ads appear? Does it do that? Ugh. So no pink? Hey, I mean you could probably put on a pink outfit. I remember that game having like uh, a bunch of ads. God. Oh, damn it, I'm getting so much nostalgia to Assassin's Creed 2 right now. I can love that game. I hope they expand Motorfest's map. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Stream dying soon, jump scare. <laughs> yeah. No wonder you were so far back. You like open world games? You probably would like it then. It's the one where you're doing a bunch of stunting and a bunch of parkouring and a bunch of... Yeah, that kind of stuff. I just love getting immersed in a world. That is what I love. Like, I'm genuinely... Genuinely... I might buy Cyberpunk just because of that. I genuinely might even buy Watch Dogs Legion. Because I hear the map of Watch Dogs Legion is really good. Like, I'm never going to play the actual game. I will just drive around the map. Depends how much it is. If Watch Dogs Legion is like sub 20 pounds I might pick it up just to drive around the map then again I don't like wasting time and that would be wasting time map is cool actually my player if it's on steam I'll see if it's on steam for you I'll see if it's on CD keys it, it, no oh would it be on steam chat or would it be on Ubisoft which you do also have Ubisoft yeah okay. Legion is my favorite Watch Dogs so good See, you need to put, like, you, you forgot to put slash S. You mistakenly didn't put slash S there. Now, you know what? People hate on crew games and... Crew... Urban... Ur bakery. Terrible, terrible. People hate on crew games, but, you know, I'm kind of like, ah, they're fine. So, maybe, maybe you do like, maybe you do like Watch Dogs. You know? Maybe you do. I want to replay through Watch Dogs 1 because, like, people talk about how you can play that in a certain way where you just become John Wick. Uh, Bakery? Exactly. Uh, Bakery. Uh. What should we, what should we name the new shop? You know? Uh, Bakery? Get Subnautica? I, I like getting involved, I like getting immersed in a world. Subnautica's water. Now, games I would get for that, probably an Assassin's Creed, which is why I wanted goddamn Origins, but fuck Ubisoft, they don't want it to work. Um, Watch Dogs Legion, Cyberpunk, for sure. Is that a world? I mean, like, traversing. You know, going around. There is land in Subnautica, you fool. Well, why isn't it called... 
Land. Nautica. Huh? Sub? What's the opposite of sub? Why is it, why isn't it called Dom Nautica then, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fake Subway? Exactly. <laughs> Eureka. Uh, Subway? You're still going? We're seven minutes away from... There's a, there's a, a speed trap here in the Crew 2. We're seven minutes away from two hours. Below zero is 40% land. What's below zero? When is the new rebound getting revealed? Uh, there's some stuff in the works. Basically, the two big reveals that I have, the rebrand and the other big thing on this channel, they're vaguely connected through something I'm doing. It's my fault that I made them connected. But um, they'll be coming out at the same time. It'll be the same stream. Maybe end of next week. By end of next week, likely. Oh, God. Subnautica releases in three years, in like a year or two. There was a Subnautica 2. Watch Dogs 1 has a dark tone in the story. It's really good. Yeah, I know. I played it. I played it growing up. I got Watch Dogs 1 and GTA 5 at the same time. Where are we heading to right now? Did we just pass New York? What is this, Acadia? Or Norfolk? I don't think we've made it to New York yet, right? Let's call it Insert Random Racist. Pardon? Call what? The podcast? Call it Insert Random Racist Statement. No way, Sid is not uh, Sid Wise anymore. It's Witch Sad. For real. Have you seen this open world game called The Crew Motorfest? Looks really immersive with tons of. Uh, late game and PvP updates. Hey, I like driving around Motorfest World. I do like it. I like going first person. And I like I like going on wheel. And I like driving around and getting mushed. That's what I like in a game. I might get RDR 2. I never played I never played it. So I might get that. It's on PC now, right? I never know whether to get a game on PC or PlayStation. Because PlayStation, I play like laying in bed, you know? And I can't just hook my TV up to the bed because of the delay of a controller. Have you ever played Need to Speed Payback? Uh, will you have played Need to Speed Payback if you could? I mean, yeah, I played it originally and then just kind of didn't like it after that. Oh, God. I think playing the Insider ruined the late game fun for me. Full release because all I did... And that was just driving around. Yeah, yeah. You definitely jumped the gun on it. I mean, I definitely did that with a bunch of stuff as well. I was the same. I just drove around in that game. In, uh, in Insider. RDR2 looks good. But I don't think I could be asked with 100 hours of force riding. I'd love it. I don't know. Again, I like just getting immersed in the world, you know. If I got to trek across a map, I'll trek across a map. Just join. Are we really doing the title? Yeah, yeah. In fact, we're three minutes away from hitting the two-hour mark, as you can see above me. I forgot I had the stream on. Hey, that's a viewer still. I'll take it. Have you heard of this immersive game called Rock Simulator? Really immersive. A lot of PvP and post-story content. I'm sure. I feel Murphy's map quite tiny. World is beautiful, but map uh, too small. Map gets repetitive after a point. Did you think? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. The city is pretty pathetic. The the main city, pretty pathetic. I, I will say. I realize that more and more. I mean, if I'm slow cruising, it's fine. It's serviceable. If I'm cruising in anything that does more than... Well, if I'm cruising in something faster, just something that I want to drive quicker, rather than just cruise... IRL stopping at every stoplight. It's pretty pathetic. Anyone got an opinion on TC1 soundtrack? People say it's good. I like the um Bananum 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 That one soundtrack song goes hard. In Murphy's map center was it so flat it would feel uh, better? 
Yeah, I guess so. All of the mountains are on like the 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 crust, right? Like the ridges. The actual map says for ah. Uh, I'd argue the quality is a big part of it. I'd give Modifest map a six out of ten. Maybe a five. Point five. The detail and variety is pretty nice. The city, the smaller towns, the storm drain, the volcano, the off-road, the mountains, the dirt tracks, the uh, the entire goddamn um, the the volcano, the volcanoes, the other two craters as well, the three craters, the racetrack, which if I might have, I might have already said, only because it pays the bill, it doesn't pay mine. It's a 6 out of 10 of a map. Get immersed in goat simulator? <laughs> really feel like I'm a goat. Because I am, chat. Uh, chat, 30 seconds away from the 2 hour mark. And we missed a turn at the two hour mark. Nice, almost, almost. 20 seconds. OMG Liberty City, no way. Oh yeah, we're finally actually in New York. New York looks very different. Two hours, two hours chat. We've been doing this race for two hours. <laughs> and we're only two minutes ahead of the AIs. New York feels very different compared to the Crew 2. Have you played any of the Test Drive games? No, I haven't. I think I mentioned this in my comments in today's video of uh, TCM. Uh, release uh, uh, has less roads than a 16 game. Uh, which game? Two hours. Two hours! God damn, two hours. Volcano area needs a complete overhaul. It's so dead, just black soil, nothing else. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I mean, is that not what that area is IRL, I imagine? But no, you're right. Give us some lava. Some lava would go hard. Am I single? No. Unfortunately not. Oh, wait, 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 I'm in second place? I'm in second place? What? No! What? What the? What the fuck? How is? What is the rubber banding? What is the rubber banding? What? What the? Shit, I was four minutes ahead. This guy has closed four minutes. What is the rubber banding? No monster truck uh, or demolition arenas. Uh, one horrendous motocross track. Well, the motocross physics suck. The track is whatever. The physics suck. Um, but there's some useless uh, boats and planes are somehow more useless than the crew too. That's fair. I mean, then again, there's a whole boats and planes playlist. You can't just say because you don't like the boats and planes playlist, they're useless. There is a boats and planes playlist. Like, and they've used boats and plane events in the summit this week. Uh, road. The roads are comically wide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. Oh god, eight events. That's just a low event count in Motorfest issue. That's not a. That's not even specific to that. That's just there's not a lot of events in Motorfest. I mean, I've talked about how the game should have launched with thirty playlists instead of fifteen. Like that's the that's, that's an overarching issue. Doesn't mean boats and planes are less useful. Eight events is more than. Motocross, Rallycross, Monster Truck combined, I think. You can't call them useless. Uh, yeah, you can't call Boats and Planes useless. 
without specifying that as well. Which you could do, at which point it's just a overarching issue, not a any of those specific specs issue. Uh, they're coming wide. It's a Forza Kuzma, and that's it. If you don't want to cruise, no point. I mean, the events are pretty. The, the events. I'd say the map is utilized pretty. What else could the map do, though, to not be a Forza Cruiser map, right? Because, like, there's the Demolition Royale, there's the Grand Race, there's the events. They are less useful. No need to fly when the map is as small. As my forehead with the same amount of uh, boats, considering there are no rivers. There's rivers. There's a whole river. The whole okay. River. No rivers is absolutely not the case. But yes, there's less reason to use them outside of the events. But the events are the main reason to use them. And the events are an issue. The fact that there isn't enough of them. But there's still there's. Uh, the person who wouldn't use boats and planes in the crew 2 wouldn't use boats and planes in the crew motor fest. They're not less use useful. Motor is quite bland, events are quite less. I I, I want I, the game should have launched with 30 playlists. The crew is a good game, but unfortunately it is no longer going to be <laughs> among us. <laughs> among us. <laughs> And they said he was interesting about the track. Which track? What track are you guys talking about? The race track in the map is so boring. It is 90% barriers and floating roads. Uh, make it narrow like an actual track. A track on some more flat ground would be nice, right? Like, um... Yeah, like a, like a real world track where there's grass, right? There's grass on either side. That would be nice. No, you're not wrong. Um, I don't mind the track though. I don't think that's a criticism of this track Because I don't mind this track. This track's fine for what it is But it would also be like I wouldn't want that track instead of this track. I'd prefer both The track uh, with 90 degrees Drop-offs into the abyss <laughs> I, mean, I suppose but yeah, that's a desire. That's not a that's not a criticism of the track. What was it in what you feels designed for racing? How did Hoppus you do it? Signs track? How much money do you get in this race? I guess we'll find out. You know. 12 more checkpoints till our 100th uh, ads. Ads? You guys get ads? Chat, what ads are you getting? Chat, what, what ad did you get? Ad check, chat, ad check, time, ad check. Give us bar rain. But each rain runoff has landmines. That'll go hard. G2A ad? Oh, I've been getting I've been getting CD keys ads. I don't think I've been getting G2A ads. Display ad? Nice. Those two ads have the same vibe for me. Driving school ad? Yikes. How do I donate to the stream? I mean, if you want to, but you don't have to at all, it's the super chat thing. I think there's there's a bunch of different ways. There's the the link. Which is in the stream t uh, description. But there's super chats. Super chats which are built into YouTube. The little money logo next to the chat. If you're going to give anything, you're probably better off gifting members. Yeah. Instead of ever donating chat, gift it. Also, you call Motorfest's roads wide. I mean, doesn't negate that Motorfest are, but clearly it's not just a Motorfest issue. <laughs> clearly. Actual, like, crew one, like, uh, uh, yeah. I can fit two skylines in this road. <laughs> I can fit, like, two and a bit, if anything. But, yeah, gift memberships, which is also in the same button. Ivy Tower was bored to make a large map, like, the whole of the UK. They don't want to... whole of the UK would kind of suck, I'm not going to lie. They don't want to do the same as GTA 6 waiting 11 years to drop. Yeah, I suppose. No, I should have done the opposite. You did make the map that feels... Like it was designed for racing? Yeah, but how did they do that? How did they make the map feel like that way? How much money do you get in this race? I, I already said, I said we're gonna find out. You are very cute, will you marry me? No, I'm not. Yeah, alright. The UK is 60% nuclear fallout, 40% grass. 
Yeah, the UK would not make a good racing game map. A one-to-one -one of the UK would suck as a racing game map. You get 180k? Damn. Doesn't actually feel like a lot. Okay, chat. Before it is too late, I am going to go make my protein shake. Because I've actually needed a protein shake like this whole stream. Shit, huh? Oh, I forgot my protein shake outside. Fuck. Chat, huh? Right. Back to the crew cruise. The cruise, if you will. Forza Horizon 4 exists. If you're saying Forza Horizon 4 exists for the UK making a good racing game app, Forza Horizon 4 is like the, barely a UK map. It's Scotland, if anything. If we're talking a one-to-one -one of the UK, that would stink. Forza Horizon 4 is not representative of what actual UK layout is. Really forgot his protein shake outside. Well, because I made my protein shake, left it on the banister outside, went for a piss, uh, forgot to grab it again. Hi, I'm going to do be doing a lot of leaving Alex in a. Uh, what is it? What's the right one? Huh? Uh, the UK is still better than the Netherlands. Uh, UK has hills. Netherlands is as flat as white. I mean, to be fair, I don't know if a one-to-one -one of the UK would make a bad racing game map. There's a lot of race tracks in the UK, like a lot of them. I feel like they're better off just doing, now hear me out, Milton Keynes and like two hours in either direction. Even two is a bit much. One hour in either direction. 
You'd get, like, so many of things. And then take some creative liberties and push a few things closer. Liberties. Liberties. Chat. Checkpoint number 90. The crew Canada would be off-road heaven. Yeah, I suppose so. The race is 10 minutes. I recently seen uh, PC Fire made 946, which I'll be breaking. Let me know if you break it, I guess. I cleaned out my house and you're still going. Yep, yep. Well, we're at 2 hours and 10 minutes now. Heading towards checkpoint 91. The mud looks wetter than the Crew 2's mud can get. Hit me out a racing game map based in Dubai or UAE. I mean, people say Forza's map is too much of a desert, right? The UAE would be one really big and cool city, and then desert. Again. Like, actively. Can't even, like, deny that one. It's just desert. True, it's one to uh, north and south. What race are you playing? The longest race in the game. Four hour race. Well, it's looking like it'll only be three hours, thankfully. USA was good because it had it all. What I say is that trademarks in Wedge, if they use Scalar so they can make an even bigger map, Africa map. Africa map. Landmarks for yeah. Africa map would go hard. It has everything. It has rivers, lakes, oceans, deserts, jungles. Which this game doesn't really have. Jungles, greenery, dirt tracks, cities, towns, massive ones, small ones. Africa map would be the perfect map. It's got the, the, the desert, it's got goddamn, it's got the pyramids. Europe wouldn't be as good as Africa. Africa would be the best map they could do. A thousand percent. What am I looking at in the distance? In the distance there. Dubai would only work for NFS? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could see Dubai working for any for speed. Also, Forza clearly isn't doing big cities anymore because of... I think it's because of, like, performance, I think? Canary Islands DLC. Uh, they could add, uh, what is it? Um... Mauritius and uh, what's the other one? What's the one named Mauritius? Can't believe I used to do this race multiple times a week. God damn, Bulldog. Jesus. What were they paying you for it? What? Vatican. Vatican? No. Chad, what am I asking? That's a joint. Don't take it to heart. Oh, right. Zakir being Zakir. What's the place next to Mauritius? It's Mauritius and like. Something Island. I think. This god awful Fortnite ripoff called The Eliminator. Demo Royale over The Eliminator any day. Any day. There's a hidden offline in PC and Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's been talked about before. I used to farm front tour for money? What, this? What the huh? What do you mean this guy's at first again? Where is he? Chat, I can't. What is the rubber banding in this game? Front tour. I don't actually know what that event is. This weather looks nice from a distance, but looks pretty gross from close up. I actually want to know, because I, I, I'm genuinely really curious. Uh... Is it Mauritius? I don't know how you spell Mauritius. I, Because I know it, there's a map right near there. There's a place right near Mauritius, I think. Somewhere near Mauritius. Reunion! Reunion Island! That's what it is. Is it Reunion? Yeah, Reunion Island. Reunion Island and Mauritius. They could add those as DLC. What are they technically? Because isn't... Aren't they French? Let me cook a Brazil map. 
Nothing goes as hard for a crew game. Oh, what, what, blue? For a crew game, nothing goes as hard as, as Africa. I, I will die on that hill. If Netherlands would have the crew map, prepare for your power boats and hovercraft. Reunion should be French. Yeah, I'm fairly certain they're technically French. Interesting. Met a guy from uh, Reunion Island once, like a professional volleyball player. Um, crazy circumstance. I think I've told this story before, but um, I just met up with my girlfriend one day, and we didn't really have any plans. We were just like, join me up tomorrow. And we were like, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Got there. I started going through TikTok. I saw this big, tall building that you can go into for free. Um, and the guy was like, oh, yeah, it's not really busy on weekdays. What I forgot to see was that that video had, like, a million plus views. So now it was busy. But I just, like, spammed the booking, like, at the station. We were just watching this, like, street performance. And then I spammed the booking. We, it was 20 minutes away. We went over there, got there. And then uh, the guy at the door was like, oh, yeah, can I see your tickets? And I show him. And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, wait, hang on. That's a QR code. That's not the ticket. I'm like, oh, that's just the email, not the ticket. And I was like, oh, okay. If I check the QR code, it'll be the tickets, right? And he goes, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I click the tickets. Uh, I click the QR code. And I show it to him. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, going through. Oh, wait, hang on. And bearing in mind, it was like October. What, what month was this? I don't remember. But many months before December. Um, and the guy's like, oh, yeah. This is a this is a booking for December. There's nothing you can really do. We're fully booked today. And I was like, oh. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah. And then we walk away. We we we, be, we we sit stand there for a minute, figuring it out, and I'm like, oh yeah, I accidentally booked her. I accidentally booked for December. And then as we start walking away, he stops us as this Mar Mar reunion island volleyball player is standing next to him. He calls us back, and he's like, this guy has two spare tickets. And turns out, he's here on some trip, and his two friends happened to cancel on his walk to the place we were going. And he was like, oh yeah, well, sure, all right. It's not, it's, not, it's not like we had to pay him back. They were free tickets. And the odds of that were nuts. And we got an absolutely chill day out of it. We went up there. He was nice. He was tall as hell. God damn. He was like, he was actually like twice my girlfriend's height. Um, but it was, he was chill. We, we, it's, uh, it's called like Horizon 22. Massive tall building. And that was such a lovely day. We just kind of went around and did stuff. We just ended up in places that we had been before. Imagine racing for three plus hours just to lose to an AI right at the end. I'm worried about that. This guy's very close. I'm going to London. Book ahead. That's, that's, that's the advice I gotta give you. Best racing game ever taken? Yeah. Okay. Oh god. He's gonna overtake. I'm sad to see it go. Rest in peace, the crew one, man. Rest in peace, the crew one. Still six checkpoints to 100. Chat. I'm really fatiguing now. The fatigue is hitting me. I think it's because we've passed normal stream end time. So the fatigue is. Ugh. London. Why London? Don't go to London. Going on holiday to the UK, Luton, even worse. Are you having fun? I don't know. I'm getting to talk to chat, I guess. I guess. I mean, I'm never going to have to do it again, so that's fun. Stay with us. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Stay? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. I'll be afraid of getting stabbed in London. If you go to central London, you're fine. Right? You're fine. You're not going to get stabbed or mugged in central London. They need to make an offline mode? They can't and they won't. Car licenses. The checkpoint count is very deceptive. The race is longer than you initially think. I mean, 116 already felt like a lot, but yeah. I still stand by this. This race should have had a checkpoint at every single landmark. Then it would have been a landmark tour. 
Oh god, bad areas in the world just take... Uh, bad areas everywhere in the world just take a chance and enjoy life. A very beautiful sentiment. I actually, I saw a video about a old couple. And um, it was like, oh, what's something you regret to this old couple? And they were like, yeah, so we kind of just spent our whole life saving so that right now we could be going on holiday all the time. But their biggest regret was, yeah, we wish we kind of went on holiday without all these safety barriers, without going to this perfect airport, this perfect resort, spending a perfect few days, and then going home. They were like, yeah, we wish we went, like, we wish we went when we didn't have that much money. We wish we went when we could just, like, experience the area, make mistakes, which obviously would be scary in a different country, but, you know, they, they, they wish that they... They didn't spend so much um, time making sure everything's safe and just lived uh, li uh, lived in the places they were at. Better chance of getting hit by a car crossing the road than being stabbed? Yeah, yeah, no fair point. And tell you what, as long as you don't be an idiot about it, right, have safety guards, right? Have things that will be backups and I don't know print a second passport just in case just have some safety guards there obviously but then just fucking go out and do shit and then you get mugged whatever happens that's a brilliant story you've got to tell oh yeah went to fucking Spain once got mugged yeah thank god I had everything ready so that if that happened I was fine but yeah crazy Experience stuff, man. Simple rules don't be a dumbass. Yeah, literally. Literally. Like, don't go extreme on either end. If you're gonna just go, I don't know, book a plane, no return, just walk around, no hotel, no nothing, you're an idiot. But go, uh, but just going so pampered and so specific with everything you're doing, it just, it just wouldn't, I don't know. I was once mugged in London, and I left London with more money than I entered. All thanks to a little bit. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, the second place is... Desperate, what do you mean? I'm sleeping in there, all good. Be honest, a racing game in Pakistan would go hard. Especially, uh, I mean, with the state of Pakistan recently, a racing game in Pakistan would just be Just Cause 4 in Pakistan. <laughs> Insane, the stuff that happened there recently. What is this, Chicago? Yeah. In fact, that is where the uh, track is added. Well, that's half the world. I mean, uh, like natural disasters. Didn't they get like a... It's, um, it's sad, really. They got like a bunch of natural disasters not too long ago, right? That's the same with Paris. Beautiful, but no one talks English. I don't want them to talk English. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I can't imagine going to a different country and be like, Oi! Oi! Stop spitting that funny language! Can you spit? Oh, I'm British, you speak British, alright? I don't. Kumsi, kumsa, but bonjour. I don't give. You can take your bonjour and shove it, alright? I want hi, I want hello. And I went, how you doing, fella? All right? I can't imagine going to a different country and expecting them to speak English. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> no shot. No shot. <laughs> Is it not true Dutch speak English? Yeah, I mean, I'm in any different country. Uh, didn't you... Didn't know you were Australian. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, chat. This voice, this is just an accent, chat. Chat, where do we still have to go? Do we still have to go to Seattle? We haven't been to Seattle, right? So presumably we'd go from here to Seattle. We'll go through this, in the mountain area, then to Seattle, then to Las Vegas. Was that a UK accent? I mean, I thought it was UK. Did it sound Australian? I was going for more like a grimy UK guy. I just subbed on my dad's account. It's me. Welcome, welcome, cuz. Yeah. Imagine traveling somewhere like Colombia and being confused why they only speak Spanish. Oi! Oi, I don't want to hear any of that hola. Oi. <laughs> we streamed the whole night, honestly, honestly. 
Because I assume, right, we, we do have to still go to Seattle, right? Seattle, then Vegas, finally. Is there any we, anywhere we have to go in between that? Like, would we have to go to Pike's Peak? You should add wildfires in TCM. What? No. <laughs> oh, God, chat. Four hours. Four hours. I will say, nighttime in this view, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I forget that the physics are so bad doing that. Getting angry at street vendors not understanding your yap. <laughs> I, look, I don't know. I understand why people do it, but the, like, um, the, the, you know, talking to someone who doesn't ex understand your language, and then going, oh, uh, I, I don't know, what's an example of something you want to say? Oh, I'm heading this way. Do you know if there's anything good to do that way? And then they don't understand. You go, I go there. Is there... Things, things, good things to do there. <laughs> no, I wouldn't mean to do that. Good things there, I do. <laughs> it's something about that. If there ever was, like, if, if there was anything close to an ick I could get for anyone, it would be if they do the, like, if they do the, I'm an oddball and talking to, uh, I'm a foreigner in this country talk. Like, could you imagine if any other language did that to someone? Uh, <laughs> could you imagine if any other language did that in, like, America or, or England, right? Like, went to England and they were like, Oh, my dear, I'm going to hack a hacker. I'm going Right? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine being that obnoxious. <laughs> Like a thing you want to see about yeah like I I don't shocking shocking I, I it's truly closest I could have to to having an egg kidder udder or kidder uh not speaking like a <laughs> I recognize that name I don't actually know oh what the hell did I just did I just get like pit maneuvered by a traffic AI. Not too well prepared. They don't need I guess it's because, like, English is spoken in a lot of other countries, right? But, like, yeah. It, it, like, I, I just imagine what it would be like for someone who doesn't speak English to do that in an English-speaking country. It would show you just how dumb it is, right? Truly. I would just be so apologetic. I would learn the word for sorry. And if I tried to speak to someone in English and then they replied, like, as if they know zero English... I would spam the word for sorry, and then leave, <laughs> and then go somewhere else. Or bust out like a fucking Google Translate or something. And I would be spamming sorry. I'll probably learn Arabic considering I live in an Arab country. I know Urdu, uh, which is basically Hindi, uh, Arabic Tower. I know English, and I think the only la uh, language I would want to learn is Spanish. Because if I learn Spanish, I can speak the three most spoken languages in the world. Because flex in this chat is I can understand Sid when he speaks Urdu. Bust out the Duolingo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to I need to ask for food. Um I like apples. Can you learn English on Duolingo? I wonder what learning English on Duolingo would be like. <laughs> 100 checkpoints! Chat, we hit the 100th checkpoint! I might get Babbel. Apparently Babbel's better than um, Duolingo. Because apparently they actually have like conversations. I might get Babbel. If you learn... If you learn a lot, it wouldn't be a problem. I mean, I did Spanish for like a month and I was fucking beasting through it. I'm a very quick learner. That's one genetic thing that I've got, I've had since birth. That like, I can learn quickly. And that's just like, it's sick that I can do that. I learn English by learning English. Learn English through the TV is better. Honestly, truly. Chat, you guys should have learned English through Zack and Cody. 
That's right, chat. That's right. That's the kind of English you want to learn. Can you please say a sentence in Spanish? <clears throat> Yo tengo una taza de café con tres azúcar y con leche. Una boleta a Barcelona, por favor. Yo hablo muy, muy poco español. And then I've retained like a few words here and there. Right? Mujer. Mañana. Manzana. Or something. What the fuck was manzana? Mañana. Uh. Niño, niña. <laughs> niña business. <laughs> Am I right, chat? Ah. Manzana is apple? I thought so. I wasn't sure, because I, I get apple and tomorrow confused. Which is wild to say in English. But what I mean is I get manzana and mañana confused. But saying that in English does sound a lot more dumb. <laughs> I get apple and tomorrow confused. Oh, yeah. When, when are you coming around? Yeah, just coming around, Apple. Oh, yeah. Well, what would you like to eat? Tomorrow. That just, that just sounds like I don't know Spanish. And I'm like, I don't want to eat right now. I'll eat tomorrow. Learn Russian. Russian by watching. He says two words in the entire show. I got this. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, that's something I'm glad I've always had, is learning quickly. It meant I was a menace at school. Because I could just never pay attention in lesson and still know stuff. Like, I remember having the most warnings and the worst attendance in accounting. And I had the highest working grade in the class. Like, I'm truly a menace. I'm the teacher's nightmare. Oh, where is this? What am I going into? Whoa. Convince Georgia to play, t to play Assassin's Creed 2. She'll love it. You have a to experience it again. Ah, uh, yeah, probably I'll talk to her about it. Like, okay. How many teachers did you have to bribe? <laughs> no, I just pick information up really well. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with picking up information and learning it. Even accounting, check. I did accounting last the last two years, right? While not studying. I, I, I pride myself on I have never studied a day in my life. Including my GCSEs. Um, I just never have needed to. Forest Gump, right? No way. I think at one point I, just, I grew up a bit of a nerd. I'm oh, not even a bit of a nerd. Just socially awkward. And then I realized at one point, hang on a minute. Um, I don't want... I, I don't need to pay attention anymore. So then I just focused on being more social. And... Um, well, don't actually need to do that and realize the way I, I I can put in the bare minimum and still get above average. Why the hell would I put in all this extra work and get the top of the top? Good example that I have that I tell often is um uh the oh god. At one time, my math teacher gave us our predicted grades and he gave me the equivalent of like an A star. He gave me like literally. The highest grade you could possibly get on uh, for, for as my estimated grade, right? And I was like, what is this? What are you talking about? Um, and he was like, yeah, if you actually applied yourself and you actually, like, you know, d directly focused and, and, and revised and did all of these things, you could get a 9, which is an A+. I didn't revise a single second, walked out of there with a B. I mean, what even is a 7? I'm not sure. I think seven's a low B. I think. Or maybe it's a low A. It's one of the two. My native language is speaking English. You uh, too. What's the exact time the game will shut down? 2 p.m. for UK time. I grew up watching Ben 10 and Soviet-era cartoons. I ended up fine. Uh-huh. Did you put a cinematic in the Discord? Did you see what I put in the cinematic section of the Discord? No. Bro, I failed every test and barely passed the finals. Uh, enough to pass a grade. Yeah, I definitely... It's it's definitely a privilege. Oh, fuck. Okay. What if I go to just this right? Oh, fuck. Please, 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 
please, please, please, please, please, please, please, please. I'm gonna lose. Please. Oh, you're kidding. Please. I'm gonna lose. Chat, I can't not win. This uh, Okay, finish top three. Thank God. The event is finished top three. 2 p.m. or 2 a.m.? 2 p.m. If it was 2 a.m., I would be grinding through the night. Misha? Oh, Misha! I I know of it. I never watched it, but I, I know of it. I think sometimes my little brothers would put it on. Yeah, that odd show. <laughs> Please. Learn Spanish from Far Cry 6? I wish. I wish it was that easy. I would absolutely do that. The issue is, is that, like, you need to continuously engage with a language to retain it, right? I don't know what I'd do. Like, watch Spanish dubs of stuff, I guess? Like, that's all I can think of, is just watching Spanish dubs. To retain the info. What's a good Spanish TV show? I don't know. Because Urdu, I use it with my girlfriend sometimes. I use it with my family. What is going on? The game has rigged the physics against me. Jesus Christ. At some point, I just started... Oh, fuck. Thinking in English, even though it is my native language. I mean, I don't remember a time where I haven't thought in English. I have memories before I knew English, but I i don't remember thinking uh, in Urdu. You ever watch Wild Kratz? I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Oh, for God's sake, what is going on? What is going on? What have they done? Have they actually sabotaged me? Chat, I've actually been sabotaged. I'm third place might overtake me. What has happened? Oggy was Oggy and the cockroaches was a banger. As always, as always, as always. If you don't know the intro of that, it sounds like I'm just going insane. But the intro of it went hard. I haven't watched Wild Kratz and Oggy in such a long time. Charlie and Lola went hard, went hard. Absolutely. Apparently listening to a language is better for learning instead of cramming the vocab. Huh. Maybe I gotta listen to some Spanish podcasts. That's what I gotta do, chat. <laughs> like, I don't bother speaking it at all. Just sit there, listen to a bunch of podcasts, and then come out with fluent Spanish. Imagine. How is he almost- what? How's he almost a kilometer away? What are you talking about? Suck mother. I grew up watching Pingu. I did a little bit. Oldest shows I remember watching? Zack and Cody. Digimon. Digimon Data Squad. And I don't think I've ever heard- I don't think I've ever actively heard anyone be like, Oh yeah, I know that show. But if anyone does, let me know. Digimon Data Squad. Let's try it. 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 Please, 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 please. I can do it. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. I'm nuts. Never got the uh, luxury of watching Western media. Did you grow up in Lithuania? I remember Digimon. There was a few different Digimons, though. The specific one I watched was Digimon Data Squad. And then on the internet, I watched through all of um, this other one, which I barely remember. In this other one, they became the Digimon. Like, Digimon Data Squad was more like Pokemon. They had them, and then they'd, they'd, um, they'd level up. But there was this other Digimon I watched where they would become the Digimon, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, like, the whole story relied on this all these guys get on this one train or something like it's fucking harry potter if 
Bye, man, Sam. Hit the spot. Absolutely. It's just a fake Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Yikes. I grew up in Ireland, but gotta make the child watch Soviet Union chat. <laughs> Yikes. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine my, if my parents were like, Nope, you're not watching that. We're, we're, we're making you watch Bollywood shows, all right? You're watching, you're watching Bubblegum and, and, uh, goddamn uh, Big Boss. Beyblade was cool. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. I still have my old Beyblades? I believe I have one. And I've got one of my old Bakugons as well. It's, uh, it's the main guy too. It's the dragon. Why did you put on such an accent when you say Ireland? How else would I say Ireland, right? Is it not courteous to pronounce the, the location in the way it's supposed to be pronounced? What else? What else? I mean, Digimon Data Squad is the oldest one that I remember. I remember waking up uh, like seven... Uh, well, that and... Um, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. At least I got to watch Ninjago. True, true. Jump up, kick back, wait around and spin. And then you jump back, do it again. Ninja, go, ninja, go. Two hours 40, here we are. Power Rangers, my girlfriend watched a bunch of Power Rangers as well. Uh, Power Rangers, the ones I liked were like Samurai. Jungle Fury. Jungle Fury, Jungle Fury. Banger. Um, ninja, ninja something? Ninja something. One of the, it was like a red dragon in it. First grew up with Spongebob. I watched a bit of Spongebob. Never watched a last time. I, I, Spongebob I watched a fair bit of, yeah. God, anything I had to do, chat. Anything I'd do. I used to watch those Lego City animations. The police stop some robbers. Ninja Steel? Was it Ninja? Because they did two Ninja ones. But one of them I really didn't like. Power Rangers, Ninja. Oh yeah, there was Ninja Storm and Ninja Steel. Ninja. St oh. Which one did I watch? I don't think it was Ninja Steel. Storm. No, maybe it was Ninja Steel. Why do I have no memory of this? I don't have any memory of either of these two. Where's the red... Where's the, Okay, wait, wait, wait. Megazord. Let me just search Megazord. I'd recognize from the Megazord because I had the Megazord. I don't recognize any of these. Ninja Storm. Oh, obviously I watched the original as well. The Mighty Morphing. The original. Why don't I recognize either of these? Oh, actually, that is in this the, in this house. Uh, my mom found a bunch of my old toys, and that that Megazord thing is in this house. Bro, I do Murphy's content as well, but I'm thinking of giving up. I mean, it's just dry. Every racing game is low right now. Every racing game is low. Murphy's especially so, but like. AR-12 is down, Black Panther's down, I'm down, um, any, but Gusius is down, every racing game is low right now. There was also, was it Clutch Powers? Clutch Powers was also a Lego thing that I caught like once. Have I played Beam and G? No, no. But I, sh I probably should do. Do you mean the Samurai one? Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of the Samurai one. No, I am thinking of Samurai. Yeah, they would do the little, damn it. I guess I didn't watch any of the ninja ones. Even though I preferred ninjas at the time. Courtesy of, uh, Ninjago. I remember growing up, I always had this, like, idea of, like, an edgy... A video game of, like, an edgy reimagining of the Ninjago story. And I remember just getting lost in that, like, uh, that idea. Like a Ghost of Tsushima. 
but like Ninjago. Oh, this I remember is Legends of Zoro. I've heard of it. Postman Fat. I, I barely remember Postman Fat, honestly. I think I barely watched it. Oh, I watched a lot of real British TV. Uh, Tracy Beaker, CBBC. There was this one about werewolves. There was this one about wizards. But you only got like three spells a day or something. Uh, Splatoon. And I think, no, not Splatoon. Splat a lot! Splat a lot was what I watched. Uh, it was like child wipeout. A child total wipeout. Camera one for Facebook. Oh. Jiron! Jiron! What are you doing around the time that game shut down? Or like the hours before? And watch Danny Phantom? I heard of it. I watched Ben 10 and a bit of Generator X. But like when they collabed, I was like, yo, this is sick. Yo. I can play right now. I'm doing the the four hour race and then I'm going to be going to going to be asleep because I four hour race. Uh, but yeah, I still haven't because I've been recording a bunch of videos while game shut down to cheekily upload after the game shut down. Um. But I still haven't done one on the PvP, and you do PvP uh, quite a lot, so I see you PvPing all the time. You be PvPing everywhere, I dare say. Uh, what about uh, Netflix? Never heard of it. Let's we get Richard Hammond hosted Total Wipeout. I remember, yeah, yeah. What else was there? Ninjago, Ben 10. Chat, chat. Chat, chat. This may have gotten me cooties or whatnot, chat. But I, I, I will admit, it would be on the TV, and I, sh I would, I would, I would, accidentally watch a few episodes of Hannah Montana every now and then. All right? It wasn't my fault. It would just be on the TV, and I would just be in the room. And I would go. Oh, is that is that is Hannah Mount Montana on? Oh, damn! Do I've got? Have I, do I not have nothing else to do? Okay, I guess I'll just stay here. Oh, wow. Wait, she's actually Miley, Miley Cyrus. What? Uh, but I mean, uh, to be fair, a lot of those shows. Did, I never watched Powerpuff Girls. I think I might have caught one. I preferred more Robot Boy. Robot Boy was cooler. She beat off my feet till I till I think, Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow a couple hours, a fair chunk of hours up till the shutdown. So if you want to hop on some PvP, when I record for some PvP, I would be up to hopping the BC to PvP while I record the PvP in BC. You see? Robot Boy was going? It truly was. It truly was. Tad racist. But you're not. What show of that time wasn't? I guess. Wooly and Tick, never heard of it. Winnie the Pooh, that's one of the earliest shows I watched. All the time. I had like a Winnie the Pooh TV, I had a Winnie the Pooh book, I had a Winnie the Pooh clock, and then it was Cars. I had a Cars. Winnie the Pooh and Cars are the two things that I liked before I came to consciousness, right? Like, I came to consciousness, right, with a, with a Cars Mac TV. And a Winnie the Pooh clock. 167 minutes. Yep, this is the race. Chat with the. Are we near the end? I don't think we are. Oh, and Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry too. My Hot Wheels lore was a combination of the Fast Furious, Batman, and Jago. Power Rangers. I had a lot of Lego lore. Sure, yeah. I remember I had the Ewok Village set, and that was the coolest shit at the time. I remember because I because I begged my mum for it, and then she offhandedly was like, "Oh yeah, it's so expensive." And there's this one Death Star set as well. And I was like, oh, "Wait, could you get me that instead?" And she was like, "No, no, no, no. I've already uh, I already bought the Ewok Village actually. Um, no, you, uh, uh, no, you should just buy that one now actually." And don't blame her, because that one was like 400 at the time. Lazy Town. Oh, I remember Lazy Town. Yeah, I do. I do. 
and the guy who just is like, was he? It was doing like fucking one arm, like standing up, toes in the air, push-ups or whatever. Our kids didn't have technology before they developed law for their toys. My kids are gonna have so many goddamn toys. I collect Hot Wheels when I was a kid. I had Transformers. Transformers! I had a bunch of Transformers toys. So many Transformers toys. Um, and I used to make my own little Lego Transformers. IX Rollout IX. Go to YouTuber. Just makes little Lego Transformers. Might have to, if he's ever made an 8 star wide speed champion scale, might have to cop some of those if he's made uh, rebrickables for him. CBB's fell off. Fall off needs to be studied. Hey, I mean, they had everything really, right? Cartoon Network went from Adventure Time to Uncle Grandpa. Shocking. Regular show to Uncle Grandpa. Tiny Pop Bang? It kind of did. That's where Ogie and the Cockroaches was, I'm fairly certain. Oh no, that was like Care Bears. I will, I, I won't lie. Caught a few episodes of Care Bears sometimes. But, um, Tiny Pop went hard. There's a cartoon about a giant mech that had a uh, car as a head. <laughs> what? In the night garden was the It's Time to Go to Sleep show. I mean, I, I remember the, um, I can, in my head, picture the CBBC, CBBs and, like, BBC, you know, when they hit, like, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. and their programming is shut down? I can picture that in my head right now. Please, but on we are number one. I, well, I can't, I can't. Copyright. Anyone watch Teletubbies? I mean, well, not really young, yeah. When's the GRA6 coming to the crew? In less than a week. What did he say? Oh, Hot Wheels collection of 600, yeah. <laughs> I've got my two, um, I've got my Alpine A110 and my RX7. I'm gonna buy uh, a newer Audi RS6 Avant if they have it. Would that be expensive though? I feel like it would be because people, people like, ugh. Swoon over the Audi RS6 Avant. Do you play Roblox? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put the you put the postman pad thing. Oh, early in the morning. Postman pad's a very open map. Teletubbies was pure nightmare fuel. Mm -hmm. There were some really weird shows on CBBC. Shows that I think, like, were the equivalent of, like, current day... Like, that one Dancing Fruit video or whatever. Some real strange shows on, um, CBB sometimes. But, hey, I'd get hooked into them as well. My brain would also go, oh, and it's just the weirdest thing. What's that one show with that kid with the blue hat? Pocker, yo. Yeah, that too. Uh, Teddy Tommy scared me. Number Jacks was the hardest show to exist. Yeah. Number Jacks was... Fuck. Some of the characters in that? Nightmare fuel. Remember Channel 5 Milkshake? Nope. Little Bill? Never heard of it. The baby son was terrifying. Yeah, yeah, sure. Max and Ruby, yes, I remember Max and Ruby. Timothy goes to school. Also went hot. No, just actually gave you nightmares. Ooh, yeah, no, motorfest, Mo motorfest, Mo motorfest, number jacked. Motorfest, Phineas and Ferb. Oh, Phineas and Ferb is an easy one. That was my sort of, um, you know, Phineas and Ferb, Zach and Cody. Wizards of Waverly Place, that kind of, uh, time. No, no, what about Grandpa in my pocket? I remember it, yeah, yeah. 
There's also like a, there's a Viking in my bed. Some odd show like that. I watched like one episode and it stuck with me like that. Mr. Tumble visits FC Island. Is that an actual thing? I hope that isn't an actual thing. <laughs> As in the actor. I guess you mean Mr. Tumble the character. Oh, Mr. Tumble. Oh, toodles. Kim Possible. Very good. Yes, yes. Never really watched much Victorious. Lab Rats. Lab Rats was goaded. They're faster than us. They're stronger than us. The next generation of the human race is living in my basement. So is it? Oh, such a good show, man. That was the uh, biggest. Uh, Lab rats went so hard. That was always biggest. Absolutely, absolutely. Lab rats went so hard. Thundermans. I caught a bit of the Thundermans. It was all right. I, I it was, it was fine. Hey Jesse, as well. I think Thundermans was a bit after my time. Hey, two just had water. So glad I never watched that. Dexter's laboratory. I remember. God, Lab rats was so good. If you want some Lab Rats nostalgia and you're someone who likes watching really long video essay type videos, um, someone did a really good video on Lab Rats. <laughs> this, I think, the rise and fall of Disney's weirdest sitcom. Was it this video? Back in the two. I don't remember. I need to see the guy. Where's the guy making this video? Did I just see someone doing a salute? A questionable salute? I think it was Tornado. this video. Okay. Bob, meanwhile. Yes, this yes. Season two. This guy made a really good video of this. And he also, I think, broke down the Thundermans. Not the Thundermans, sorry. Uh, Mighty Med. Which I, I quite enjoyed Mighty Med. But again, it was on the it was on the tail end. Um, and then the, the connection, the, the, the paired series that they did. I watched Salmon Cat. I never watched um, Victorious or too much iCarly, but I watched Salmon Cat. Danger Mouse. Fairly Odd Parents, yeah, yeah. Fairly Odd Parents went hard. What was the theme of that? Timmy is an African. Absolute banger. Remember that one show with the two families who were neighbors? They were. Like 20 kids, I, I don't remember. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Yes, um, Foster's House for Imaginary Kids. Jimmy Neutron, never really watched Gravity Falls, very good. Rory the Racing Car, barely watched it. You remember this one show that was like bad CGI, but it was about robots? Ah, what channel was it on? It was Boy vs. Cat, Crash and Bernstein, Help My Parents or Aliens. I never watched the Alvin and the Chipmunks show. So things went downhill, unfortunately. Watergirl Fireboy, that is of that time, yeah. Ed, Ed and Eddie, very good as well, making me feel old. It's just the shows that I remember as a kid. Oh god. God, I love going through this nostalgia trip. And the, the themes. The themes are just... <laughs> they're so good. What was... I'm trying to think... Hang on, it's on the tip of my tongue. Hang on. Hang on. I'm trying to remember the good one and not the newer bad one. It's almost there, it's almost there. With secrets that it is. Now he's got superpowers, he's no ordinary kid. It's burn time. Utopia? Utopia, what the? 
I never watched Utopia growing up, but I watched Pirates of Nicholas video on it. Henry Danger? I re yeah, that was tail end. It was fine, but... Kids Next Door was pretty good. I remember they cancelled that around the time I, like, really liked it. Or, like, they stopped showing episodes of it. Nobody watched Utopia? Pyrus Cynical's video on it, though. I probably watched that video, like, three times or so since it's come out. Did you watch Planes? No. Never watched cartoons either. Remember that one show where they send a kid to some job and the kid would voice over it with sadness? No? Skip the America bit? Oh, no, I watched through the America bit, you know? It's nice to see um, the America bit bad. But yeah, I enjoy the first bit, because it's... I mean, unfortunately, this doesn't really... This isn't a great argument for fair use, but it's a great replacement for watching the show, uh, that Utopia. What about Simpsons? I remember catching Simpsons every, every night at 6. 6 p.m., Channel 4, Simpsons. I would hope I could go up to any Brit and go, what used to come on at 6 p.m. Channel 4? And they would go The Simpsons. Uh, do you remember that one show with a random dude yapping while his viewers yap with him? No? Oh, I also remember Skatoony. Skatoony! That's the word on the street. And Kawiz Kids. I remember Skatuni and Kawiz Kids. Swashbuckles? No. <gasps> there was a pirate themed thing though. It's been in memes recently. Kid with a small white hat. And like a pirate guy. Chowder as well, by the way. Not the pirate one I'm thinking of, but Chowder. Absolute banger. <laughs> okay, alright, cool task. Jack and the Pirates? I don't know. If that's the name of it. Flapjack! Flapjack, that's what it was. Amazing World of Gumball 2, yeah, very good. I can't whistle chat. You remember Drake and Josh? Never really watched it, but I remember it. Oh god, uh, ooh. You ever played Skylanders? I did growing up. Chat, I'm second place again. Octonauts, I heard of it. Dora, I watched a bit. I prefer Diego though. Diego was lit, and he got his own show eventually. And, but they never aired that, they always add Dora. Cause screw him. Oh god, no! That would have been the end, chat. Yeah, that would have been the end. I would have not won. Pokemon, I didn't really watch. The ones like that, I watched like Digimon, Data Squad, Yu-Gi-Oh! Didn't really watch Pokemon. Watch Beyblades. Watch Bakugan. Pokemon's like the one I didn't watch. Scooby-Doo. Absolute banger. Absolute classic. Dora the Destroyer. Diego was much better, right? Why are they making me feel old? Here we are. Come on, you have to know Swashbuck. Nope, never heard of it. There was also this... Ooh. There was this one Flash game I used to play. Because it was like on the borderline of scary. Uh, but it was like 2040-something or 20... I think it might have actually been like 2020-something. But it was like a dystopian future. The actual show was just like a... It's like a game show, like a kid's game show, but... The actual, uh, the... Online game of it was cool. One fact is I used to Commander Safeguard? I don't know. Oh, for God's sake! It's done. It's over. It's over. He's won. He's won this race. I have taken three hours to complete. Oh, chat, we hit three hours, by the way. Chat, we hit three hours, I think. Do we not hit three hours? Am I crazy? <gasps> Johnny Bravo, I remember that. Yeah, 
Damn it. See, it is a more than three hour event, thus making it four hours. Fantastic Four had a cartoon? Never watched that. Oh, I did watch, what, the Ultimate? Was it Ultimate? The Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. It's quite stinky now that I think back to it and, you know, the fact it was voiced by um, Drake Bell or whatever his name, whatever his real name is. Um, but yeah, I, I watched uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. I watched the Avengers one as well. And there was Hulk and the Agents of Smash. And a Guardians of the Galaxy one, which I never watched. They they really went all in on those. Never watched Spectacular Spider-Man. I wish I did. They rebooted that though, that though, didn't they? Wasn't it bad though? Bob the Builder, yeah, sure, that one's a that one's a go-to. I'm sick. We talked about Pengo already, yeah. Crew for 2025, 2026? Absolutely not. Why do I feel like I've already driven through this place? Oh no, I haven't. There's a there's an escape right here though in the crew too. Yeah, we talked of Tom and Jerry. Top Gear. I remember watching so much Top Gear going up, growing up. The Top Gear Burma special. Iconic. British history. The Top Gear Burma special. The one where they're all in, uh, like, trucks. Absolute history. I learned English with Top Gear and Doctor Who. Damn. Looney Tunes. Never watched it, unfortunately. Barney and Friends? Ah, never watched it. Still watch Top Gear? Oh, uh, was in current day Top Gear? Africa Special Bear? Never watched it, I don't think. What, what, uh, which was the one where they found the River Nile? And which was the one where... Stig was born as Jesus? Those two I did watch, but I don't know which ones they were. Oh, no, yeah, River Nile one was pretty good as well then. Yeah, yeah, River Nile one was pretty good. Stig was born in the Middle East, as in a Middle East special? Stig was born as what? Stig was born as baby Jesus. In one of the specials. The caravan scene on the highway. I don't remember watching any of the America. No, I watched one of the America specials, actually. The cow on the roof one. No, I think I watched both. Yeah. Maybe. Probably. Chad, when are we getting Stig Drift specials? I'm just saying, Chad. I'm just saying. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Iconic. Scary as hell. It was it the Middle East special where they landed in a big cargo plane? Yeah. Oh, what was the one where... James May is in a bright blue Jaguar? And that's all I remember, honestly. That's all I remember. And they went through that tunnel at one point. And the special with Oliver... Ah, you know, all of them are pretty sick. <laughs> Might have to do a Top Gear special marathon at some point. All of them? Bangers. I gotta rewatch Courage. Bright Blue Jag? Yeah! James May, I think, was in a Bright Blue Jag and... Jeremy was like, yeah, no, that looks really nice. Oliver! Oliver, what's Botswana special? God, yeah, I gotta rewatch all of them, man. Cliff and the Big Red Dog. Yeah, sure. Curious George I remember watching. Curious George is pretty good. For some reason, in my memory, Curious George is with Hey Jesse. I probably just watched those two back-to-back -back one day. And in my memory, it's Curious George and Hey Jesse. Like, those are the two shows that I'm thinking of. What hour exactly is the shutdown? 2 p.m. UK time. My rewatch Top Gear after this now? Honestly, honestly. Crew Definitive Edition runs in your calculator. Yeah. The Jag XKR? Maybe? I don't know. 
They it, there was a bright blue jag, and there was it was an F type. I'm I think I'm fairly certain it was an F type. Blue F type, jag, and there was a bit with a tunnel, where they went in a tunnel and it sounded really cool. Only blue jag James drove was lap time. Am I crazy? Maybe someone else drove it. But I remember a blue jag, a blue uh, F type. Was that not just an episode? Was that an episode? Was it a vanquish? Was it a I'm trying to remember what the other cars in that episode were. I think it was maybe like European? Somewhere Europe that they were cruising, I think? What about Soul Card? Alright, alright. Oh, I did watch. Which Batman show did I watch? A bit of Batman Beyond. Vanquish, where he races the LFA and a Viper? As in, the other two are in that car? I still remember that one episode where they all came in the same BMW. So instead they got like different tests done to it. The Race of Mexico Border episode. Maybe, maybe. Peter Rabbit never watched The Gruffalo. Wasn't that just a book? Top Gear Christmas Special 2011? The Tiger Who Came to Tea? Also, it's a book, no? Peter Rabbit is James Corden. Who from Top Gear is your favorite? I don't know. They're all great. They work as a team. It's like saying me or Josh, chat, right? You couldn't decide, right, chat? Kawiz was a banger. I don't know what Kawiz in Kawiz Kids. I think I remember it. They were black or dark green. They did a jack. Ah. Josh? How are you going to say it so easily? Josh? What? Chat. Say Josh one more time, chat. Say Josh one more time, okay? Say it one more time, chat. Say you prefer him over me one more time. Bloody fine. Bloody fine. Okay. Bloody fine. I concede. Okay. I concede. All right. We got six checkpoints left. It's looking like an hour and a half. Doll. Did aid Sid. You know what? If you're gonna misspell it twice, you don't. You can just say Josh. <laughs> you misspell my name twice, you might as well say you prefer Josh. <laughs> uh, are you using dot bin log dumper? Is that the um? Is that the save your progress thing for crew one? I suppose I will tomorrow. Overnight, maybe. I don't know. Can I be in the game while doing it? How does it autocorrect to aid? I mean, S and A are pretty close together, right? And I guess the word aid is more common than the name Sid. So if you click Sid, it's probably like, oh, did you did you miss the A? Did you mean to say A instead of S? Oh, gotcha. Five left. Assume you're having fun after three hours, right? I mean, you know what? I'm having fun talking to chat. The race has just kind of been in the background. Five to go, chat. Five to go. I didn't know parts were so easy in this game. I do need to max parts out for... Um, 
I need to max them out for tomorrow because I'm going to be playing PvP. Josh mentioned. Yeah. Horrible histories, Balamori, yeah. yeah. The crew game save. Got been mentioned is a packet on the server. Or something everyone is sending their logs to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that they can have their save progress if the game is ever brought back online, right? I'll look into it. Ben and Holly? Was that your Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom? Kim Possible we already talked about. Oh, gotcha. I'm actually, like, exhausted. This is more exhausting than my ab workout today, actively. No, it isn't. I went way too hard. My stomach is going to hurt tomorrow and the day after. There is no second one, which is a network sniffer? No, there oh, there's a second one. I haven't even done the first one. Sorry. Am I supposed to do both? I don't know. I'm hoping the, the, the way it's done is easy. Also, doesn't it scan as a virus? Arthur? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember Arthur. Check my... And my hand is actually hurting now. Jesus. What's my dream car? Alpine A110. Horrid Henry. Yes. Banger. Banger. Ow. Just place the DLL file in the game's directory. It'll make a log dump on its own. Okay, nice. Is that the only thing I have to do? Really? That car Alpine? Absolutely. Oh, God. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Still racing, don't worry, we're near the end, we're near the end, Mush. We gotta finish quick chat, my wonderful, amazing girlfriend would like me. Rubber banding! Oh, different, uh, can't have both at once. Gotta do one, then the other after, okay. I suppose I'll do that. I'll try and do that before I start the stream tomorrow. Then again, it's not gonna. I'm gonna be having a lot of progress in tomorrow's stream, so it's gonna suck that that's not gonna get registered. What's he doing after this? Th uh, this again. I'm doing the race again. We're going for round two, chat. We're gossiping about stuff. Who? You're gossiping about me? Oh god! Good to hear this bullshit game will be closed. Damn. Why do you think so? Because I've heard a lot of people be like, Oh yeah, good thing the game's shutting down. Um, How do you believe so? You're doing this race again? Oh no, 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 I'm not actually, I'm not actually. <laughs> Four checkpoints to go, chat. Four checkpoints to go. We're ending in Vegas, and we're still in what feels like the Grand Canyon? How the hell are we in the Grand Canyon? I guess we just didn't go to Seattle, by the way. I guess no Seattle for us. Suppose Seattle isn't a landmark. <laughs> Idiot. But yeah, Bisty, I'm curious. What is it about this game that warrants shutting down? Genuine discussion. chat i have had r2 pressed down for so long on this this one race it has to have given me stick drift it <laughs> <You> got me <laughs> how is this race so long the crew one had some long races all right the crew one had some long races IRL stick drift. I know, it's like not the podcast. What controller am I using? The Forza controller. 
And that's not a controller I want to get stick drift on. I like using this controller. Four hours long isn't normal? What, for this race or for my streams? Are you saying... Are you asking if that isn't that normal? Or are you saying that's not normal? There's so many questions. The race? And are you asking if that's normal? Or are you saying that's not normal? Saying. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Hey, look, it's a big map. The Crew 2... The Crew 1 and the Crew 2 were the whole of the USA, right? So... I thought New York was boring. Here we are. Hey, it's, um... Is this Uber Dam? Vegas, here we come. Uber Dam is right next to Vegas, I believe. Torture length race. Hey, I'm glad I got to do it, alright? I'm glad I got to do it. Before the game is shut down. And this is one that I don't have to make a video either, right? Because if I made a video, it would just be the raw footage. I wouldn't edit it. So, you know. Also, I wasn't recording, so I'm not putting a four-hour recording on my PC. Uber damn, like damn Uber. Over three hours is way too long. Well, you know, if you enjoy the map and you enjoy the game. The Fugitive is a fun race. What does that one entail? Recreating most of the crew races in the crew too. Oh god! Ah! He's gonna overtake again. Okay, no, we got distance. We got distance. Less distance than he's able to make against us because this garbage rubber banding. Four hours for 180k. <sighs> I think there is a longer race in the game. I bloody hope not. I, is there a game that... Is there a race that's the full outline of the map? Because I feel like I've done that one. That's the one I raged at as a kid. Can you say you live in a... Because I can I can't, I suppose. Chat! Chat! Two to go! At exact, at almost exactly 200 minutes. Meaning what? Two hours? Three hours? What, 20? It is going to be about three and a half hours in the end, I guess. I hope the game crashes. That's me. Aboard and make the skyline blue. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. That would be funny though. How are you playing this? I just uh, joined. How am I playing? What? Ollie Ball. Is that the real Ollie Ball? Famous TikToker Ollie Ball. How am I playing what though? The crew? The game's still on. The longest event in the game? Uh, by playing it, I don't know. How is he catching up so quick? How is he catching up so quick? How? <laughs> Chat, he just closed. He just closed 300 meters in the span of two seconds. Less than. What the? Huh? No. 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 No! Stay away! <sighs> Yay! We gained one suspension part, chat! Let's go! One suspension! 160,000! And like what? X enough XP for one level? Did we even go up one level? <sighs> Chat. 
Chad, I've got the love of my life to attend to. I will see you boys in the next one, which will be tomorrow morning stream all the way right to the end of the game's life. I will see you boys then. Oh, God, we're getting a bunch of achievements. Let me have those play out first. But damn. Oh, God. Uh, I will see you boys in the next one. Tomorrow, catch the stream. It's going to be end of the game in a bit.